Tonight, he plays for a swimming pool valued at $10,000. Tonight on Australia's biggest bargain sale, we're offering a Calais and Marina valued at $40,332 for $515. All the prizes plus a cash jackpot of $94,000 for $700. Two of the incredible bargains on sale of the century. And now here's the man with the money, Tony Barber. Wow, wow. Wednesday. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Peter, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to the show. It's Sale of the Century. It's Wednesday night, and this is Paul Stevens, our carryover champion, who did very well last evening to defeat the long-standing Denise. It was hard work, that wasn't it, Paul? It certainly was, Tony. And had it not been for the $25, it would have been even harder work. Very much so. That put the pressure on. Yes. Tell us about your family, Paul. Oh, got, got... You must have twin twins. Have you I twi have, yes, yes. Uh, twin girls. Sarah? Sarah and Emma, yes. And Emma. So eight and a half. Yeah. And, um... And a son. You, you want to previously... You want to visit countries that you've been to before? <laughs> yes, I did a lot of travelling when I was younger and I'd like to do it again and take the children. Uh, oh, so they can see them too, yeah. Yes. Where That's particularly, right. Paul? Oh, I've travelled a lot in uh, Africa and Europe. And yeah. I'd uh, like to do it all again. Oh, great. I'd like to go to Africa, too. Um, yes. <laughs> Here, ladies and gentlemen, Elise Platt, the lovely Elise, coming out now. Elise. <laughs> Sorry, no, I was getting carried away. I was thinking about Africa, but of course there are certain problems in that part of the world, but uh, it's still an interesting place to be. It's a lovely place yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah. Abby, where's your favourite place in the whole world? Um, well, I haven't been to many places, but the places I have been, I have to say Paris. You like Paris? I like Paris. Uh, I love Paris in the springtime. Yes, springtime um, in fact. Would you wish the, our news director in Melbourne, GTV9 Melbourne, John, John Sorrell, a very happy birthday for How last old night? Is he? Uh, um, old enough. Happy birthday, John. Did you have a good hit, night? Hit the half century. Oh, congratulations. It was quite a night, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Happy birthday. Bring them in. Okay, our first contestant tonight is a badminton playing, badminton playing school teacher from Western Australia yeah. and an antique collecting waiter from Queensland. Please welcome Marilyn Benthine. I think that's right. And Nick Neal. G'day, Nick. G'day. Yeah. Nick Neal. Nick's a member of the Brisbane Light Opera Company. Oh, wonderful. Are you a baritone, Nick, or a... Bass. A bass? Bass. Like yes. Bass. Dick. Yeah, Dick was in a bass. England, yeah. Yeah. Nick, um, what are you doing at the moment? Are you in production? Well, they're going to do the um, Kiss Me Kate yes. in the Suncorp Theatre in July. Yep. Will you be in that? Hopefully, if I can get um, a, a job where it'll allow me the, uh, the time off to go to rehearsals. The Latitude. Sorry? The latitude to, to, to oh, do yes. both. Yes. yes, yes. That's good. Nick, I hope you're singing well by the time the show's finished. Oh, I should be. Yes, you should. Of course. I won tonight. <laughs> He'll be singing. <laughs> Marilyn, how are you? Very well, thanks. Tony. That's good. And you like... He, Marilyn's ambition is to wake up tomorrow morning. I don't have any great long-term ambitions, but no. if I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm happy. You're happy. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> Terrific. $20 each. It's a nice ambition. Yeah, it Good is, luck. isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> See all go. Later. See ya. Ready to play. Nick's on the job, Marilyn and Paul. Traditionally, what country's people wear wide-sleeved robes called kimonos? Paul. Japan. Japan is right. What's starting with A is chronic inflammation of the joints? Marilyn. Arthritis. Arthritis is correct. What do Australians understand by the American word sidewalk? Marilyn. Footpath. Footpath, yes. With which kind of entertainment do we associate Frederico Fellini, Marilyn. Movies. Yes, Marilyn's quick. The chinchilla is valuable for which luxury, Marilyn? Fur. For its fur, right. Which Australian company is literally indicated by the initials B.H. Paul? Broken Hill Proprietary. That's correct, Broken Hill Proprietary. $30, but Marilyn's had the best of it leading by 10. Marilyn, you got $40, and you can afford a new toolkit. It's beautiful, isn't it, Butch? Butch, <laughs> uh, Marilyn, if it's, uh, no matter how large or small the job, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing well. And you couldn't do it any better than with this 100-piece mechanics toolkit. 
It contains precision engineered chrome steel spanners, sockets and accessories, all unconditioned, unconditionally guaranteed for life. Normally $649 tonight, only $6 from Eastern Tool Company and Sale Century. That frog's into Take a very, Oh yes, I know. Spanners, hammers, lovely Do set of pliers. Do you ever use this sort of stuff? Oh, never. I oh, didn't no. think so. No, not me. Uh, I don't, I'm not. I'm sort of mechanically, uh, technically uh, dyslectic. I'm not very good at that. We've heard stories about it. <laughs> Marilyn, um, I'm sure you're not. Is there someone in your house who could use this? I hate it when my husband gets near tools. I'm sorry. I hate it when my husband gets near tools. Yes. Uh, well, well then perhaps him. he's got the wrong tools. If he had these tools, you'd love it when he got near them. Because you would have bought them for the astonishingly low price of $4, and you'd be able to give your husband the $200 cash. Oh, and you will, yes. Excellent. Isn't that good? Off they go. OK. In which country of the British Isles is the city of Leeds? Maryland. England. England. You've known every answer, haven't you, Nick? I can tell. Yeah. You've known, and oh, yes. Just a little behind. Yep. What's starting with F is to abstain from food? Marilyn. Fast. You are. Extremely. What kind of friendly cartoon character was Casper? Marilyn. A ghost. Casper, the friendly ghost, the friendly ghost. Which sporting pastime was once described as a worm at one end of a stick and a fool at the other? Paul. Golf. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. No, this is fishing. Golf. Not golf. <laughs> fishing. I'd like to apologise to all the golfers watching tonight. Yeah. Who are we? Surname, please. Who are we? We are an American family all born in the second half of the 19th century. Our youngest was a matinee idol, achieving his greatest fame as a Shakespearean. Marilyn. Fairbanks. No. Our actor. And from Paul. Barry Mills. Barry Mills is right, Paul. Barry Mills is correct. Let's pick the board to you. Well done. Trailing by 26 with a chance to make up a little ground and pick from the board as follows. Daniel J. Trevanti. Of... Hill Street Blues. And Peacock. Annie Peacock reads, does the weather in Melbourne. Hello, Annie. Peter O'Brien. Peter O'Brien is the new part of the Flying Doctor's doing a great job. Terrific. Koala. Part of Australia's wildlife. I don't care what Mr. Brown says. Lovely. <laughs> Lynn Wilson. She's a data entry operator from... Somewhere. She comes from England. <laughs> uh, a big hand for Lynn. Sybil Shepherd. Sybil Shepherd's in Moonlighting. John Riddell. John Riddell is a weekend newsreader in Adelaide. The Bangles. The Bangles, great all-girl group. Latest album, A Different Light. And Don Seacom. Don Seacom, Channel 9 Brisbane, and Brisbane documentary presenter. Let me clear it up about um, Lynn Wilson. She's a data entry computer operator. She's from Tulla in Victoria. Good on you, Lynn. Thank you very much for sending us your photo. You'll be getting a game and a stick pin. Who would you like, Paul? I'll have Anne, Anne Peacock, please. Annie? Congratulations, Paul. You've won a telescope with interchangeable eyepieces and powerful magnification to close in on the action. Valued at $700 from Tasco. What a nice present. And um, you're sort of... You're a bit disposed that way, aren't you, Paul? Uh, well, no, but I'm certainly uh, very pleased to get that. No, but it says here you're into science fiction. Oh, yes, yes, very yeah. much so. Well, this is the real thing. I mean, you, you know, you'll see the beings out there. We'll be back after this break to see if there's any beans in here. The Nissan Skyline Wagon has a remote tailgate. Ready to go. Two to go. Round two coming up. Nick 20, Marilyn. Braining them at the moment, Marilyn. $51 leads the way and pull on 25. What is the two-word name of the amusement area in the southern part of Brooklyn, New York City? Paul. Coney Island. Coney Island is correct. Which of our senses is affected by many ears, just Marilyn? The ears. No, you see... Oh, hearing. Yes, yeah. but the ears is not a sense. The yep. ears is just an organ of sense. Hearing is the answer. In which war did a president deliver the Gettysburg Address? Marilyn. The American Civil War. American Civil War is right. Got the money back very quickly. What are you trying to induce if you plant seeds of silver iodide in the clouds? Marilyn. Rain. You're trying to make rain. Precipitation. Correct. The rainmakers. $56 leads away by $26, Marilyn, $56 to spend, and we've got a little vehicle for you. And it's a beauty, isn't it? Uh, hey, Alisa, what's yes, you got? Uh, Antonio, uh, Marilyn, if you like getting away from it every now and then, well, he's a 
great way to get there. This motor scooter is the latest model from Italy. It's very easy to ride and it's extremely economical to run. Normally $2,247, she's laughing. Tonight only $9, the Vespa from Caesars Motor Services and Sale of the Century. Can you see yourself on that? Amore, scusa me. It is in the line of the No, 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 the Yiddish mama. Italian mama. Oh. Piaggio, Vespa, Italian. Si. Parlo italiano, Marilyn. Si. No. 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 Ah, uh, denari uh, dunure. Uh, spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> uh, what sum are you? You want to pay for this uh, $6? It's yours. Drive out of the studio. Be careful. Going, going in? No, thanks, Jim. My son's going to kill me, but no. Oh, oh. That's a very sad. Because now he's also missed out on a nine-carat golden diamond pendant from Gemex Jewelry valued at... $4,560. I'm sorry, $456. Oh. $456. But it would have been nice. Never mind. In which of the pure sciences would you learn the law of gravitation? Paul? Mathematics. Physics. Gravitation, physics. What special title starting with R is given to a person who rules a kingdom? Paul. Uh, the ruler. In place of another? Uh, rain. A regent. Come in too early, pay the penalty, no worries. In London, what kind of shop is foils in Charing Cross Hall? A bookshop. It's a bookshop, you're right. Which 1963 film had the subtitle, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb? Marilyn. Uh, oh, Peter Sellers. Dr. Strangelove, who of course was Peter Sellers, and that's the way it goes. Dr. Strangelove. Who commanded the English fleet at the Battle of the Niles? Paul. Nelson. Lord Nelson, 1798, the gap closes. All right. Nick, it's been very quiet for you this one. You've got more time. Maybe you can catch up. I was born in Germany in 1879 and died in 1955. Moving with my family first to Italy and then to Switzerland, I became a Swiss citizen. I was a specialist examiner in the patent office in Bern when a special professorship was created for me at the University of Zurich. My genius was first recognised in 1905 when I published three important papers on theoretical physics, one of... Paul. Einstein. Albert Einstein. Yes. Paul Stevens, battling to remain champion and with a pick of the board. Who would you like, Paul? Uh, Daniel J. Trevanti. Daniel J. Trevanti. Coming up. Oh, he's Last night it was the 25. Tonight it's the 15, it's brought you within $6 of the lead and made a good, very good game of it. We'll be back with the answer to this question in just a moment. Daphne du Maurier, author of Rebecca, was born on this day, 1907. What was the name of the mansion featured in Rebecca? What was the name of that? It's come off on stripping. One of our... A lot of people having fun in the audience. We've got uh, Rochester College, we've got uh, St Anne's from Warrnambool, of course, and also one other... Oh, from Ararat. The kids from Ararat are with us tonight as well. Did you say Mandalay? Sister Mary did. I think it was Sister Mary. Was... <laughs> yes. Mandalay. And Joe Louis was born on this day, 1914. Okay, players, let's hit it. What Russian name is given to a dish of strips of beef? Marilyn. Stroganoff. Cooked in a sauce. Stroganoff is correct. All right. Which former European monarch was married to Prince Bernard of the Netherlands in 1937? Paul. Queen Wilhelmina. Queen Juliana of the Netherlands. Juliana. In the human body, which bluish-white rubbery tissue starting with C? Marilyn. Cartilage. Is commonly called gristle. Cartilage is right. When a three-letter prefix is added, what is the one-word antonym of approval? Marilyn. Disapproval. Disapproval's right. You are terrific, and it's good because you're $26 ahead, but that's what it'll cost you to try and find $8,000 in the cash box. Eight grand. <laughs> I know it's hard and you've worked so hard for it, but, I mean, you could get it back pretty easily, couldn't you? And um, it is $8,000. I'm not a great gambler. You're not a great gambler? <laughs> no, and no, my luck's rotten usually. All right. Do you want to give it a flick? Give no. it the miss. Yeah. Thanks. Have a hype. Just pretend now. Oh. You've got to really, truly do the, the same number you would have done. I would have done two. You would have done two. And you would have got... look what would have happened. Oh. oh. Marilyn, isn't that... But don't worry. Put it behind you. It's only $8,000. <laughs> I mean, goodness. It's only a couple of pairs of pantyhose anyway, isn't it? Really? <laughs> right. On which Australian river is the town of Berry in South Australia? Paul. Not a clue. <laughs> 
the berries on the merry, on the murray, on the murray. What do we call a small house or shelter for doves or pigeons? Marilyn. Coat. A coat is correct, yes, or a lot. In which field of study did Englishman Howard Carter become famous, Paul? Archaeology. Archaeology is right. It's Marilyn in the middle who's done all the damage, though. Nick, still a chance, Nick. Get this money, $25, you'd get a new lease of life. What is my name? I am a country in the Americas with a population of just over 3 million. The great majority of them are descendants of Indians and Spaniards, and Spanish is my official language. Cotton is my leading source of income, but I also produce bananas and beans and coffee, as well as clothing and textiles and processed foods. Extending from the Pacific to the Caribbean, in area, I am the largest country in Central America. My ruling Somoza family was overthrown in 1979. Marilyn. Mexico? No, 79, when the Sandis, uh, Sandinista... Uh, Sandinista were established in Managua, my capital city. My name begins with N, Paul. Nicaragua. Yes, I didn't think I'd take that long. Nicaragua is right. Paul, you are in uh, desperate trouble here. You're in more trouble than speed, Gordon, but if you got the $25, you'd be right back in. Peter O'Brien, please. Peter O'Brien. Well, you got the $10. That's a bit better. Are the money? The wild card was with Sybil Shepherd and the home viewer Lynn Wilson had the $25. Excellent. So, that leaves a gap of $21 twixt first and second and we'll be back in Fast Money to see if Paul can make an impression after the break. <laughs> and it's all in front of you, Nick. That is... Indeed. Everything's to be done. You've got 20, that's all. Marilyn, 71, leading the match. Paul, 50, and the fast money coming up. 60 seconds on the clock, please. Had a big turnover in champions, and we'll see if we've got another one. Your time starts now. In which city were the 1984 Summer Olympics held? Nick. Los Angeles. Correct. James Fenimore Cooper wrote the last of the... Marilyn. Correct. In which religion is the month of Ramadan important, Paul? Mohammedan. Muslim. Yes, in what country did uh, Delft wear originate? Marilyn. Holland. Yes, how many hooks or needles does a person use in crochet work? Marilyn. One. Yes, in Roman mythology, who was the twin brother of Romulus? Marilyn. Remus. Yes, what farm animal has a breed called Tamworth? Paul. Pigs. Yeah, in which of the arts is Leonard Bernstein famous? Marilyn. Music. Correct, a fathometer measures the depth of... Paul. Water. Correct, what nationality is champion runner Steve Ovette? Marilyn. British. Yes, what peace prize was Henry Kissinger awarded? Marilyn. Nobel. Prize. Correct, what literally does UFO stand for? Marilyn. Unidentified flying object. Correct, who was director of the FBI for 48 years? Paul. Hoover. Correct, with what country do we associate the game Mahjong? Marilyn. China. Correct, what starting with T is another word for fatigued? Marilyn. Tiredness. Correct, what nationality was composer Hector Berlioz? Paul. French. Yep, but it's all Marilyn 121. That's a good score. Great score. Marilyn Benthing from Williton. We haven't had a West Australian champion for a while. Great. How do you feel, Marilyn? Oh, relieved. Tony. You've done great. You've done very well. Well played. Nick and Paul, sorry. She was uh, in a massacring mood tonight, and that's what happened. Ooh. Alicia, you got something for Nick and Paul? Well, um, i just like to... Kind word, perhaps? ...wish Nick all the best for uh, Kiss Me Kate. Hope you get a part in that. Hope you do a little bit better than what you did tonight. Not so thanks, to did you enjoy Thank you. That's the main thing. And, Paul, you're taking home prizes to the total of $1,757. Nice to have you on the show. Thank all you. All the best, guys. Bye. Thank you both for being with us. And, of course, uh, we've got these as well for you. Paul and Nick both received the electronic sale of the century game from Crown and Andrews, plus our diamond set stick pin from Bruce and Walsh Durers and sale of the century. Well, that was great. You ready for this? Yes. Let's go shopping. Now, you've won a great prize, but we're not going to show you that till the end, right? right. What we're going to show you is what you will win if you come back tomorrow night. And here it is. Marilyn, for a refreshing change, why not take a dip in the swimming pool? This strengthened fiberglass pool is guaranteed for 10 years. It's Australian made and includes a salt water unit as well as installation. Normally $10,000 tonight, only $155 from international pools. And salt water pools no? are so carefree. Did you know and that? And they're nice to swim in, much nicer. Yes. Oh, they're lovely and they're better for your body. You should let them. Here's somewhere nice to have your body. Marilyn, record those special family events with this lightweight video camera, accessories, and 68-centimeter monitor television. 
A compact disc player and advanced sound system complete this exciting audio-visual package. Normally $15,255, tonight $240 from Sony Australia and Sale of the Century. All those lovely entertaining devices, terrific, terrific, terrific. Uh, what else we got? Got a couple of watches here? Timeless accessories aren't distinction. These ladies and gents bracelet watches were crafted in Switzerland from 18 karat gold. Normally $21,100, tonight $330 from Baum and Mercier. Two beautiful watches, also a magnificent trip, on, but we won't be seeing that because we're going to see these. Presenting a motoring combination in a class of its own, the elegant Cali is sheer luxury from its computerized engine management system to its ergonomically designed interior. While the sporty Barina gives you more run for your money with outstanding comfort, superb handling, and a performance that will delight. The VL Calais and ML Barina are on the road at $40,332. Tonight, $515 from Holden, Australia's driving future. Yes, Marilyn's got a lovely gold nugget around her neck. The cars and the prize is worth $122,000. And the cash jackpot is up here. Tonight's sale of the Century Cash Jackpot totals $94,000. Okay, the um, grand total is $216,534. Now, we're going to show you what you have won. Maryland dining becomes a real celebration. Superbly crafted in solid Tasmanian blackwood, this magnificent suite comes from a company with over 60 years' experience in craftsmanship and design. Normally $5,314, tonight $75 from Piper's True Line. Lovely, that very nice dining suite. And if you like, Marilyn, I mean, you can have it and just leave. And that's what I've said to a lot of other people this week, isn't it? And they didn't. But you could be the one to break the... It's beautiful, Tony, but I'd like to yeah. come back. Good on. Okay. And have a go for the good. Yeah, I think she should come back. So I, I have a feeling you're going to do really well. Thank oh, you. look, what do they call those? <laughs> honey, um, cra honey crackles. Uh, honey crackles. I love yeah. them. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow night, everyone. Keep smiling and bye for now. Good bye night. Bye. Good This is a Grundy television production for the Nine Network. Peter Smith speaking. $121, and tonight plays for a swimming pool valued at $10,000. Tonight on Australia's biggest bargain sale, we're offering a Calais and Barina valued at $40,332 for $515. All the prizes plus a cash jackpot of $96,000 for $700. Two of the incredible bargains on Sale of the Century. And now, here's the star of the show, Tony Barber. Say good day from WA. Thank you, Peter. And good evening, all. Welcome to the show. We've got a West Australian champ on at the moment. And there she is, Marilyn Benthine from Williton. A school teacher, Marilyn. That's right, Tony. Look what I'm wearing on your behalf. Little Bad says, G'day from WA. Say good day. Good day. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Marilyn, where do you teach? Riverton Primary School, Tony. What do you teach? I teach Year Five. Oh, Year all Five, year but all subjects. subjects. Yes, yes. Arithmetic and the whole lot. Things. Yes. Do you like that? I love it. Yes, they're a lovely bunch of kids. And you can practice at home too with your other. Well, they're all a bit older than that, aren't they? Than the Year Fives. Yes, they're all... Yeah. Did they go to the same school, or did they go to that school? One of them does now. Oh, actually, they did, but yeah. um, two are at high school and one's still at the primary school with me. Right. Well, I reckon your pupils will be pretty proud of you. You had a great start last night and it's all in front of you. Ladies and gentlemen, to introduce Marilyn's opponents, would you please welcome... Sparky! <laughs> It's like as if I was going to come flying down with a wind yeah, on me. Well, that's, we're, we're going to do that one night, actually. We are? Yeah, we're, get, we're getting all the equipment and, and you're going to be flown in on, the, on, a, on a big wire. Wow. Actually, but that, see, Sparky doesn't suit you the way you're dressed tonight. Tonight you're more elegant, you're more 
You're more Mrs. McSparren tonight. Mrs. Mc oh, am I? Mrs. Mack. Yes, Mrs. Mrs. Mack. Who's playing the game, Mrs. Mack? Well, tonight we have a tennis playing business services consultant from Victoria. Yeah. And a student and part-time translator also from Victoria. Oh. Please welcome David Cook and Sylvia Goldweiser. Goldweiser. Sylvia. Hi, Hi Sylvia. Do you pronounce the W with a V? Pardon? Is it pronounced Goldweiser? Goldwasser. Yes. Goldwasser. That's right. What language do you uh, interpret, Sylvia? Italian and French, Tony. Italian and French. Where? Mm -hmm. um, for an agency, which I shouldn't name, probably. Why? Might get them a bit of extra business. Oh, OK. Yeah, um, it's great. <laughs> Cosmopolitan School of Languages. Metropolitan School of Languages. You needed a translator at any time to the Metropolitan School of Languages. We did. I had a French... I, there was a song on a... Um, what's that French singer's? Uh, Jacques Brel or... Uh, no, the little fella, you know, with the she, maybe the Charles Aznavour album. And I wanted, um, I wanted the, the song translated. Oh, well, See, if you need anyone at Grundy's Tony, I'm available and I'm in the phone book. <laughs> Great. Good to know, Sylvia. Uh, bon chance. Merci. Plaisir. David, how are you? I'm well, thank you, Tony. That's good. You, what do you, you consult people in business? Yeah, I'm a corporate consultant at uh, a chartered accounting firm, Tony. So if people's businesses are sick, you come in and fix them? Oh, well, if they're sick, maybe we make them well. Yes, occasionally we, we go through a lot of exercises, we list yeah. them. And then other times they buy them and take them over and make yes. them well. Hmm. Good luck, so, David. All the best. You. Nice to have you here. Say um, good day. Oh, oh good day from WA, yes. See you all soon. $20 each. There she goes. Off comes the Red Seal, and we're in business. The American singer, famous for such hits as Maybelline and Johnny Be Good, David. Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry, correct. Chuck Berry. The revised standard New English and Good News. Marilyn. Versions of the Bible. All versions of the Bible, correct. What starting with M do we call all animals whose young feed on Marilyn? Mammals. Mother's milk, correct. Because of the wickedness of their people, what two biblical cities would... Sylvia. Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah, correct. Which one word term describes compulsory enrolment for service in a country's Marilyn? Conscription. Armed forces. Conscription's right. Which marine creature of three letters has a variety called Marilyn? Ray. Conga. The conga eel. There's the bell. Doesn't matter, Marilyn, you're still in front. $30 leads by five. $30 to spend. We've got some lovely games and real family prize here with Auntie Elise. Yes. Marilyn, uh, any parent that's had to entertain kids on long, wet, gloomy weekend would recognise how valuable this toy package is. This selection includes construction sets and model kits as well as a storybook and tape assortment and they were designed for education as well as being good fun. Normally $632, tonight only $6 from Fisher Price Toys and Sale of the Century. I was just thinking. <laughs> yes? What, um... What wonderful little incentive prizes for the kids in your class at school. You could say, you know, whoever's best at spelling will get the such and such and whoever... Wouldn't that be nice? It would be lovely, Tony, but I think they might be a little bit young. What? Oh. For these prizes? No, no, the prizes might be young. Oh. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. They, they, they're, they're quite... Look, um, ages five and up. Um, How old is your own? I love this one. Tape recorder, magnetophone. And this one is great. I mean, God, your husband would want to play with that. <laughs> Too young. All right, $4. $4 once, twice, three times. Going, going. No sale. Which American Civil War general was nicknamed Stonewall? Marilyn. Jackson. Samuel Jackson's correct. What name was given to one quarter of a penny? Marilyn. Farthing. A farthing is right. Which word means both quiet and restful in tone? and to administer a sedative. Sylvia. Tranquilize. Sedate. To sedate someone. Which animals chase a hare in the sport of Marilyn? Greyhounds. Yeah, greyhound racing, coursing. All right, Marilyn doing it well. David and Sylvia, chance to catch up. Who am I? I'm the main character in an opera played by a baritone. I'm a court jester who plots the murder of a duke for having seduced my daughter, Sylvia. The Marriage of Figaro? No. Gilda. Marilyn. Rigoletto? Yes, Rigoletto is right. Rigoletto. I am Rigoletto. Well done, Marilyn. You get a pick of the board and these are the faces.
Don Seckham. From Channel 9, documentary presenter, Brisbane. Sybil Shepherd. Of Moonlighting. Liam Bartlett. The uh, best and most popular newsreader in WA. The Bengals. Latest album, A Different Light. Annie Spilsbury. From Ascot, Queensland, our viewer of the night is Annie Salisbury, a tennis playing manageress. Isn't that lovely? And Peacock. And Peacock does the weather in Melbourne. Daniel J. Trevanti. He's in Hill Street Blues. He's terrific. Daryl East Lake. Wide World of Sports. And Peter O'Brien. The Flying Doctors. Who would you like? I'll have to be parochial and go for Liam Bartlett, please. Liam Bartlett. He's a good You'll be able to say thank you when you get home. That helps a lot. You've gone to 55. David and Sylvia are in Queer Street at the moment, but there's a long way to go. Don't worry about it. You can always catch up, and we'll be back to see if they can after this break. Coming up on this Thursday night, Sylvia, you are $20. You, I was just talking to your mum. Were you? Yeah. She's got records from before I can hardly remember of mine. Isn't that lovely? Have you ever heard them? They're wonderful, Tony. That's great. Go to $40 straight away. <laughs> <laughs> David, you're 25, a little... Mm, mm. Mm, yeah, very... Mm. Yeah, well, Marilyn's uh, had that easy money, so that's why she's doing at the moment. What nationality was Agatha Christie's detective, Marilyn? French. Hercule Poirot? No, he was Belgian. Yes, I would have said French. The Franco-German composer who wrote 90 operettas between 1855 and 18... Sylvia. Offenbach. Offenbach, Jacques Offenbach, correct. What literally does the YMCA stand for, Marilyn? Young Men's Christian Association. That is exactly right. At the 1984 Olympics, which country won most of the gold medals? David. The United States. In the men's swimming and diving, correct, again. It's still you, Marilyn, though. You've got the good lead here, 55 leads by 25, 55 to spend, and... Uh, We've got a wonderful prize for you. Don't know what it is, but... America has big rock and little rock. Even Gibraltar has a rock. But uh, they're nothing compared to Ayers Rock. And Marilyn, you'll be able to flip up there for a weekend or two. You'll enjoy luxurious accommodation, all meals, including a champagne dinner, a cocktail party at Ayers Rock, a day tour to the Olgas, and airfares are included. Normally $2,316 tonight, only $9 from the Four Seasons, Ayers Rock, Answered Airlines. So the century, we're on top of Ayers Rock. Here we are. Here we are. Yes. yes. It's warm, isn't it? It is warm. Oh, I've got to take my coat off. <laughs> Listen, um, you know what they call this, uh, this rock in, in real Aboriginal language? Uh, Ayers Rock? No, no, no. Right. You know what it's called? Tell me. Uluru. Uluru means Ayers Rock. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. Uluru means a place of high, dense uh, substance. Uluru. Is that right, Marilyn? I've got no idea, Tony. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good place boy. to go. Would you like to go there? Have you ever been there? No, I haven't. Well, I will only charge you $7 to go there. And I'll give you $200 to spend at the... Um... Is there a casino there? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> now, that's at Alice, at oh, the Alice. It's not far away. It's not far away. It's Sol. She likes <laughs> That's teamwork. Yeah. All right. The rivers and streams of which country of the British Isles are considered the best for catching David? Scotland. Salmon, Scotland, right. Who was the first actor to be made a baron in English history, David? Uh, Laurence Olivier. Correct. Here comes the challenge. Which delicious fruit, much grown in Australia, has the highest calorific value of all Marilyn? Banana. Fruits? No. It's the avocado. It's because you hear about people doing it, having diets and things with avocados, but it's got the highest calories. The distance from... Hello, I'm Sylvia. sorry, Tony. That's all right. No worries. We'll start again. The distance from the tip of King Henry I's nose to the top of his outstretched thumb gave us the first official measure of which imperial Maryland? The yard. The yard. That's right. Yes. Just think if he'd had a short little... <laughs> no, well... Which country, starting with A, did Germany annex, Sylvia? Austria. In 1938, Austria's right, scoring well, everyone now. What is my name for a pick of the board? I'm a large body of water. In me are the Andaman and the Nicobar Islands, and the Magui Archipelago lies on the eastern part of me. Many rivers flow into me, including the Brahmaputra, the Irrawaddy, and the Ganges. 
David. The Indian Ocean. No. I include important seaports such as Calcutta, Madras and Rangoon, my coastline, Maryland. Bay of Bengal. Bay of Bengal is correct. Bay of Bengal. Okay, champ, you are being pressured. Whose face would you like now? Daniel J. Trevanti. Daniel Trevanti is coming. It's a nice prize. You won a shuffleboard set, including discs and skittles, a great game for all the family, valued at $1,140 from MP Shuffleboards. Good fun. Slide them along. Great fun for the family. All right, we're taking a little break. In the break, you can argue over this one at home. Uh, the late Eric Morecambe was born on this day in 1926. What is the full name of his comedy partner? Remember that one? We'll be back to tell you. And I know what it Three is. and... Just a reminder, just in case you haven't glanced this way, if you happen to be in front of the right time, nine grand, $9,000 in the cash box. So it's a very important round. For people at home, it was Ernie, little Ernie, Ernie Wise. And Thomas Gainsborough was born on this day in 1727. You're having a birthday today? Many happy returns. Hope you have a good one. What was the nickname of John Holiday, gambler and sometimes Marilyn? Doc. Doc, yes, dentist of the Wild West. From which direction do the Roaring Forties winds blow, Marilyn? From the... from the... east. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right the first time. From the west. west. The westerlies, yes. In which novel of Jane Austen's do Mr and Mrs Bennet appear, Marilyn? Pride and Prejudice. Pride and Prejudice is right. The main thoroughfare of which Scottish city is called Princess Street? Sylvia. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. What a wonderful street and a castle overlooking things and so forth. Marilyn, you're 13 ahead. Not a lot to ask. $13 will get you, your lead will get you a pick of the cash box, $9,000. $9,000. Three to one for $13, Marilyn. It's... No. Yeah, no, no, go couldn't. on. What do you reckon everybody's here? Yes or no? Yeah. Have a go, oh, Joe. That's not come fair. and have a go. <laughs> I no, look, I was so terrible last night that I'll probably do the same sort of thing. So, so no, you're gonna let it go. Yeah, let it go. All right, have a hypothetical and good luck. One. One. You want to go for number one, hypothetically? It wasn't in number one. In wasn't fact, in number it was in number one. Oh, three. thank God you didn't have a pick so of the board. You're lucky. You saved your money. Big show tomorrow night over ten thousand dollars in the cash box. In Greek mythology, which king of Thebes unknowingly killed his Marilyn? Oedipus. Father and married his mother, correct, Oedipus. What, starting with I, are identifying emblems worn on uniforms? David. Insignia. Insignia is correct. Of which Scandinavian country did Carl 16 Gustav, Sylvia? Sweden. Become the king of? 1973. Right. All right, last pick for the easy money. Who am I? I was born on New Year's Day 1909 and in America and of prosperous parents. When my father died in 1929, I left university to work in the family business, becoming its president in 1937. During World War II, I served as an Army Air Force pilot overseas, and after the war became a Major General in the Air Force Reserve. But it was in politics I made my name as a senator for Arizona, and I was the Republican candidate for the presidency in 19... David. Barry Goldwater? 64. Barry Goldwater, yes. <laughs> Barry Goldwater. He, uh, he got an enormous hiding, didn't he? Terrible the, thrashing. Ooh, terrible thrashing. I think one of his, one of his campaigns, he was going to bomb Russia or something. Simple oh. like that, yes. Who would you like? Sybil Shepherd. Sybil. It's a nice prize, David. You won a selection of children's clothes, superbly styled from colourful materials and featuring attractive designs. Valued at $600 from just it. A single man. Bad luck. No luck with the money. Where was the money, Sparks? The wild card was with Daryl Eastlake. The other money was the, with the home viewer, Annie Spilsbury. And the Bengals had the $25. Spread around a little bit. Western Australia. Maryland's got a big opportunity here to stop the rot. We've had a whole succession of champions succeeding to champion. But Maryland may, uh, may just stick around for a while here. Dave and Sylvia are both in a position to challenge. And we'll be back to see if they can after this break. Fast money. Round four. Sylvia, 40. Well within range for fast money. That's well within range. David, likewise, 45. And Marilyn, you're on 58. 60 seconds on the clock, please. Looking for that uh, relatively rare species in recent nights, the two-night champion. Your time starts now. Mornay is usually a sauce flavoured with... David. Cheese. Correct. Which US state is nicknamed the Empire State? 
Marilyn. New York. Correct. What is the basic diet of a carnivore? David. Meat. Yes. Who was proclaimed the British monarch 1952? Marilyn. Oh, I've forgotten. Elizabeth II, what do we call a medical examination of a body after death? Marilyn. Autopsy. Correct. What national porcelain is Blanc Machine? Marilyn. French. Chinese. In which South American country is Lake Titicaca? David. Chile. Bolivia. What happened to Martin Luther King on the 4th of April 19... Marilyn. He was assassinated. Correct. What is Spain's largest city? Marilyn. Madrid. Correct. Australia's Governor General from 69 to 74 was Sir Paul. Marilyn. Correct. Correct. What four-letter tree bears beetle nuts? Marilyn. Palm. Correct. In which war was the Battle of the Ardennes Bulge? David. The Second World War. Correct. What's starting with H.R. Rosemary Marjoram? Sylvia. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. All herds. Which saint do we associate with Lourdes in France? Marilyn. Bernadette. Correct. In Greek mythology, how many goddesses? It's all over, baby. Marilyn went bang for the doctor and won quite comfortably with $83. Congratulations, Marilyn. Thank you, You've Tony. done a big breakthrough here. Two-night champion. David and Sylvia, thank you both for being here. Tony. Our very best wishes and Elisa's as well. Have you enjoyed it, Sylvia? Very good. Oh, that's good. Thank you for playing and um, I'll see you again one day. David, you're taking home prizes to a total of $600 and thank you also. Bye-bye. All right. Sylvia and David also receive these presents from Pete. Sylvia and David both received the push-button sale of the century game from Crown and Andrews, plus our diamond set stick pin from Bruce and Walsh Jewelers and sale of the century. Congratulations. A little bit shaky at the start of the fast money, but it soon settled down, didn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Great. Let's go shopping this way, Mel. Feeling better all the time, isn't it? Oh, much better. Yes. You've got this game sewn up. No problems. You have won the swimming pool. But we're not going to show you that right now. First of all, we're going to show you this. Marilyn, make your family movie stars with this lightweight video camera, accessories, and 68-centimetre monitor television. A compact disc player and advanced sound system complete this exciting audio-visual package. Normally $15,255, tonight $240 from Sony Australia and sale of the century. Nice little package there, isn't it? Beautiful. All good things. Two watches out of here. Marilyn, time for a delightful double. These elegant ladies and gents bracelet watches were crafted in Switzerland from 18 karat gold. Normally $21,100, tonight $330 from Baum and Mercia. All right. Now, also, in addition to that, we have a trip to South America. But it's sort of too late in the week to be bothered about it. So let's go to the car. Presenting a motoring combination in a class of its own. The elegant Calais features electronic cruise control and advanced air conditioning within its sleek design. While the dynamic Farina has the looks to match its efficiency, with comfort, versatility and easy access highlighted by its clever design. The VL Calais and ML Barina are on the road at $40,332. Tonight, $515 from Holden, Australia's driving future. And an elegant addition to these superb vehicles, solid gold key rings set with 30 diamonds valued at $4,000 from Bruce and Walsh Jewelers. All right, two key rings for the two cars. The cars and the prize is $122,000. The cash jackpot is right up here. Tonight's sale of the century cash jackpot totals $96,000. And you haven't qualified for it yet. Long way to go, Marilyn. But if you want to, you can stop right now and take this beautiful swimming pool from Elise. Marilyn, you'll be revitalised once you take the plunge into the swimming pool. This strengthened fibreglass pool is guaranteed for 10 years. It's Australian made and includes a salt water unit as well as installation. Normally $10,000, tonight only $155 from International Pools. There it is. It's good. It's good. The pool in WA would be great. We can move it there for you. Do you want us to? No, I'd like to go on to Have another dash? No, I'm moving back. Good. I need to yeah. Very quick. And it's my brother's birthday today. So, what, which one? My big brother. He's 30. Oh, Kim? Yeah. See Kim. you tomorrow night, everyone. Keep smiling and bye for now. Happy birthday, Happy Kim. Happy birthday Dad. to him. Happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to Kim.
This is a Grundy Television Productio visual package valued at $15,255. Tonight on Australia's biggest bargain sale, we're offering a Calais and Verena valued at $40,332 for $515. All the prizes plus a cash jackpot of $98,000 for $700. Two of the incredible bargains on sale of the century and here to get the weekend off to a great start it's tony baba weekend off to a great start getting the weekend off that's what i like to do good evening everyone welcome to the show and a very happy weekend ahead for you and welcome back marilyn hi tony you won by 18 dollars but there was a 10 dollars off the board in that so but it was good for second night. Have you heard of the second night syndrome? Yes, I was a bit worried about that. Yeah, before. you survived it. Fantastic. Let's hope you're here for a while. That's not to sort of uh, wish any harm to the opponents either. Do you enjoy quizzes? Have you, do you play quizzes at that? Because it's big in WA, isn't it? Yes, we would have quiz nights held yeah. in hotels and things. And I bet you win all the time. Not all the time, no. Oh, I don't know. Not I don't know. Is your, uh, is your, was your husband keen for you to come on the show? Or just well, it was the children, actually, who prompted Talked me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I suffered a great propaganda campaign from them. Good on them. They... Well, they must have known. They must have known. Good on you, kids. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome our kid, uh, Elise Platt, in here. Radka, in Mo. Lovely Mo. Did okay. you, um, that's nice. Did it's you nice. go to, uh, did Kim have a birthday party last night? Yes, he did. We had it at Mum and Dad's. We seem yeah. to be having a lot of the cake. Yeah, it was parties great. lately, aren't they? Yeah. Yep, big 30. A very happy holiday, too, to all the kids in South Australia who uh, broke up from school today for the second holidays of the year. They have a lot of holidays <laughs> these days, like don't they? Everyone's on holidays all the yep. time. Marilyn wants to know who she's playing. All right, well, she's playing a golf-loving mechanical engineer from Victoria and a pottery-loving telephonist from New South Wales. Please welcome Tam, Tam McAllister and Rose Egan. How nice is that? Finish McSporran. <laughs> Rose Egan, telephonist. Where do you telephone, Rose? For a big company, Tony. Uh, for the where? A big company. I, I don't the company. Any. <laughs> a s oh, the BH BHP? No, not the Just. Company. A big company. You don't yeah. want to mention it? Not really. <laughs> All right. Well, we won't talk about that. Good luck in the game. Thank you very All much. Rest. And Tam, you're an engineer. Do you yes. want to mention your company, Tam? Skilled Engineering. Skilled Engineering. Skilled Engineering. You've got a lovely accent. Yes. <laughs> How long have you been out, Tam? Eight years. Eight years? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, well, you can... Because the accent sort of... Where are you originally from? Fife. Fife in Scotland. Fife? Fife. 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 Where do Hamish's people come from originally? Um, oh, that's yes. Okay. Well, you think about that one. Time. <laughs> and we'll get on with the game. Yes, please do. All right. Good luck. You don't know, do you? How can't you not know? $20 each for the people. And off comes the seal. Good luck, everyone. Let's go. In the comic strip, what was Superman's mild mannered alias, Marilyn? Clark Kent. Of course. In colloquial language, to ignore or overlook something is to turn a blind what? Marilyn. Oh, I... Yep. Which animals race in a point to point steeplechase? Sam. Horses. Yes. What two-word name is given to the section of the North Atlantic Ocean in which many ships and aircraft are said to have mysterious... The Bermuda tri Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is correct. In which city were the first modern Olympic Games held, Marilyn? Athens. In 1896. What part of the human body, starting with M, has a kind called biceps? Marilyn. Muscles. Muscles is right, yes. Cockles and muscles alive, alive. Okay, $45 leads the game, Marilyn. Buy 20 from your nearest opponent with $45 to spend. We're going to show and tell you something quite spectacular. Look this way. Marilyn, what a lovely mood setting. Doesn't it put you in the right mood to buy? Well, I'd like to put you in a great mood by telling you that these two pottery lamps were hand-thrown from California clay and they feature stylish Constantina shades and they're normally $700 tonight, only $6 from the Melting Pot Studios, Sale of the Century. Are you still there? I can't see anyone. Oh, there they are. Ooh. Ah, don't. <laughs> I came from behind. Came from behind. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yes, Marilyn, what do, you, what do you think of this? They're beautiful, it beautiful, Tony. Yes, they really are lovely. What would you be prepared to pay for them? Oh, I know... Um, expert at pricing. Well, let's put it this way. You can have them for 
Two dollars each, which is four dollars. Oh, I think that's fair enough, that's don't wonderful. you? Wonderful. Yes. Bargain. Going, going, and gone. Sold, sold, sold. That price sold, sold. <laughs> gone. You get a fright? Yes. Which form of execution is indicated by the expression the noose? Marilyn. Hanging. Hanging's right. For what primary industry are the hunter, the Barossa, and the Swan Valleys? Marilyn. Vineyards. Famous as vineyards or wine producing areas, correct. The word aberration contains how many R's? Marilyn. Three. Two. There's only two. The American choreographer noted for the elaborate dancing girl extravaganzas in the 1930s films, Rose. Busby Berkeley. Busby Berkeley's right. Good to hear from you, Rose. Who am I? Pick of the board. I was born in the USA in 1899 and died in 1961. During World War I, I served in Europe with the Italian Army, where I gained much material for my short stories and novels. Rose. Ernest Hemingway? Ernest Hemingway is correct, yes. Ernest Hemingway. Your pick of the board. Rose, on the board for you to pick from, the famous faces are... Shane Whittington and Grant Dodwell. Uh, they are willing and able. I had a great time at the Logies this year, too. Hmm. And Peacock. Channel 9 Weather Melbourne. Robert Grubb. At the Flying Doctors. Daryl Eastlake. Wide World of Sports. Chris Giannakis. A very nice young man. A surfing student from Clayton, Victoria. I think that's a lovely young woman, actually. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She's very pretty. The Bengals. Uh, their latest album is called A Different Light. Don Seckham. From Brisbane. Jackie McDonald. Also from Brisbane. And Liam Bartlett. From Perth. I'm sorry, Chris, I'm sorry, I must tell you, I should be wearing glasses on this program. I don't, and because of that, I occasionally... And you're very beautiful, and I love you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Rose. Uh, I have the bangles, thank you, Tony. The bangles. Congratulations, Rose, you've won a delicious gourmet food hamper, including teas, jams, French pate, biscuits, and much more, valued at $150 from Sockerman International Fine Foods. What a top prize. Very nice. No money, but a good prize. All right, the champs snuck away again early, but we'll be back to see if the others can catch up. Hang on. Friday night, book of the week, Tony's recommendation, Noel Barber, The Other Side of Paradise. Noel Barber wrote some terrific books. He wrote uh, Tanamira, which is the sort of the Gone with the Wind of Singapore, which the Grundy's uh, company is making into a uh, miniseries, and also Woman of Cairo. And this is the same sort of book. It's set in the Pacific. It's beautiful. My mum bought it me for my birth today, and I thoroughly recommend it to all of you who like a good read. That's Noel Barber. No relation. The Other Side of Paradise. Are we ready, players? Anyone read any of Noel Barber's? What is usually contained in a pot or stand called a jardinier, Marilyn? A plant. Plants or flowers, correct. In which Thomas Hughes novel with a three-word title did the character Flashman originally appear? Rose. Oh, I'm sorry, Tony. It was Tom Brown's School Days. On which large island is the Sultanate of Brunei? Marilyn. Borneo. Borneo is correct, yes. In the book of Genesis, whose wife is said to have turned to a pillar of... Rose. Lot's wife. Lot's wife, look back, shouldn't have looked back, never looked back. She did. Marilyn, 56, leading the way by $26. Good lead. And a chance to buy a great prize here. Yes. Marilyn, we're constantly being reminded to be true blue. Well, you can't get more Australian than these ladies and gents' outfits. These Australian-made outfits include jumpers, belts, moleskins, boots, hats, and distinctive high country coats. And you can select $2,000 worth of these great Aussie outfits for just $9 from Morrison's of Euroa and Sale of the Century. Right. Yes, I'm sorry, um... Marilyn, I, I do apologise. You're actually $31 a head, so you can certainly afford that. I, I won't reduce it or anything. I'll just offer it to you, and I know that you'll find that very welcome in the cold West Australian winters. We don't have cold West Australian winters. Oh, yes, winters. you do, <laughs> don't. I've been there. I've lived there. No, not cold enough. Not cold enough to spend the money. All right. Thank you very much. In one of the pockets of one of the coats was $1,000 cash also. So there you go. Hmm. Ah, uh, never mind. In 1972, Nixon became the first U.S. president to visit which country? Tam. USSR. No. In fact, it was... Rose. China. Yeah, but you don't get paid, Rose. I'm sorry. Okay. We don't pay second place here. With which American singer do we associate the theme song, I Walk the Line? Marilyn. Johnny Cash. Yes, the man in black, Johnny Cash. In which of the arts are Glissade and Entrechat? Marilyn. 
Ballet. In the ballet, yes. Which Italian city's name derives from the Greek Neapolis, meaning Maryland? Naples. New city, why do I say your name, please, Maryland? Thank you very much. You're looking great tonight, I'll tell you. In the USA, which slang term rhyming with pooch means tam? Hooch. Alcoholic liquor, hooch. Yes, hooch. How did you know that, Tom? I like some. All right. <laughs> I know what you mean there. What is my name? I am a country which includes a desert, jungles, and one of the world's highest rainfall areas. I contain broad plains, great rivers, tall mountains, and tropical lowlands. For hundreds of years, I meant mystery, wealth, and excitement to the Western world, and many adventurers. Tam. Brazil? No. Travel to me for jewels and rugs and silks and spices. My name is our official language. In our official language is Barat, but I'm best known by another name, Marilyn. Iran. No. You get all the clues, Rose, just relax. I'm a large country in Southern Asia, and in population, I'm the second largest in the world. My capital city is New Delhi, and my name begins with... Rose. India. I, for India. I, 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 yay, 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 yay. India. Have a go, Rose. Um, I'll have, um... And Peacock, you thank could you. do with a lift from Annie. Congratulations, Rose. You won a portfolio of four prints by famed Australian artist Hugh Sorry, valued at three hundred dollars from Elder Fine Arts Gallery. That's excellent. A good pickup. Well done, Rose. We're just uh, we're just going to have a little break, and while we're away, you can think about this. Which well-known Australian air service began on this day in nineteen twenty-eight? I'm in round three. There's $10,000 in the cash box, but it's going, to be a, it's going to be a pretty dear buy for you, Marilyn. A very expensive shout if you have to get for it. The Flying Doctor Service started in 1928, the Flying Doctor Service. And have a guess what happened on this day in America. In 1940, for the first time, nylon stockings were launched. <coughs> Always something new. As the name suggests, what describes the boat seamen take for shore leave? Rose. Liberty? The Liberty boat is correct, yeah. Liberty men ashore. The saying that macho does not prove macho has been attributed to which of the Gabor sisters? Tam. Eva. No, Zsa, Zsa. Wrong Gabor. <laughs> Sorry, Tam. In an inner suburb of which Australian capital city did G.J. Coles open their first store? Melbourne. Tam. Melbourne is correct. Nothing over a shilling? Yes. What three-word name do we give to April the 1st? Marilyn. April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day or All Fool's Day. There's the bell. Cash box time. $10,000 in the cash box. Big money. Um, only cost you $46, Marilyn, to have a look. Are you, and, and the thing is, but you see, let's look at it this way. You've established, basically, a, a very sort of obvious superiority over your opponents so that I mean, despite spending $46, you know you can get back to that lead again. That's my theory, anyway. <laughs> well, twice in the gift shop, uh, Tony, I've missed out on the extra prizes. Yeah. And twice on this one, I've... Yeah, so... Oh, once I did, yes. What do you no, think? No, I couldn't. You couldn't? I honestly couldn't. No, it is a lot of money. You. Mm. Have a hypo. Um, one. Number one, you would have gone for one. You would yes, have got the... Yes, you Ten thousand. It's, it's sort me. of like, isn't it, it funny, people say, what is it about sale? But it's like life, isn't it? We're all of us sort of opening the wrong box all the time. You know? <laughs> Just a slice of life. All right, let's go. In which decade of this century did the liner Andrea Doria sink? Tam. 50s. In the 50s, yes. The monetary value of the painting The Man with a Golden Helmet, Rose. I'm sorry, 20,000. Dropped dramatically when it was discovered that it, was, that it wasn't him that did it, Rembrandt. Rembrandt did not paint it. It was Fred Nurk round the corner. and Not nearly as valuable. Which President Roosevelt was known for his big stick policy? Marilyn. Uh, FDR. No. The other one. T, T, uh, Teddy. 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 Teddy Roosevelt took a big stick to him. Who am I? I was born in Russia in 1931, becoming a com combine harvester driver. I joined the Communist Party in 1952, graduated from the Moscow State University with a law degree in 1955. During the 50s and 60s, I held positions in my local party organisation, also rising through the ranks of the National Party. I became a full member of the Politburo in 1980, 
and oversaw Soviet agriculture and economic planning. When Chernyenko died in 1985, Rose... Uh, Mikhail Gorbachev? That's correct, Mikhail Gorbachev, yes. Mikhail Gorbachev. Have a pixki of the Bortski, Roski. I'll have uh, Jackie McDonald, thank Jackie you. Jackie McDonaldski. Here she comes. Nice prize, Rose. You won four delightful ornaments, hand carved in full lead crystal, valued at seven hundred and fourteen dollars from Matt Jonathan. Lovely, but no money. Where were they all, Sparks? Lee, uh, Liam Bartlett had the wild card. Liam. Shane Withington and Grant Dodwell had the other money, as well as Daryl East Lake, <laughs> and Robert Grubb had twenty-five dollars. All thereabouts, Marilyn seventy-one leading by a massive margin, but it is fast money, remember? And we'll see if Marilyn goes into the weekend as champ right after the break. There are special moments that you wish could happen every day That tender touch, that winning smile Be more than words can say And on its chocolate biscuits Are the ones they love the best Tim Tam Slice fruit and nut, you wouldn't give them less. Yes, honest chocolate biscuits are the ones they love the best. Kaiser introduced 100. It's a madcap romp across America with girls on the make and guys on the take. Anything goes when there's five the week. And let's make it a good one. A mad minute, 60 seconds on the clock. Rose 25, Tam 30, Marilyn 71. And with the time there, your time starts now. What kind of creature is a grouse? Marilyn. Yes. On which continent is the kingdom of Swaziland? Marilyn. Africa. Correct. What colour is jet? Marilyn. Black. Correct. A trefoil leaf has how many parts? Marilyn. Three. Yes. Who was the star of the TV series The Rockford Files? Marilyn. James Garner. Correct. In which ocean of the Midway Islands? Tam. Pacific. Correct. If given a glockenspiel, what would you do with it? Marilyn. Play it. Yes. Through which Australian capital does the River Torrens flow? Marilyn. Uh, Adelaide. Yes. What nationality was opera composer Ivanovich Glinka? Marilyn. Russian. Correct. What do we call a person who changes into a wolf? Marilyn. A werewolf. Yes. Edifice is another name for a... Marilyn. A facade. A front. Yes. No. What country lies immediately east of Libya? Marilyn. I've got no idea. Egypt. Of what type of powder is cordite? A smokeless kind. Tam. Gunpowder. Yeah. By what letter of the alphabet was black activist Malcolm Little known? Marilyn. X. Right. Which nation launched the Lunar 2 moon probe 1959? Tam. Russia. Yes. The novel The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie was written by? Muriel Spark. Yes. The Mender Pills are in which car? Ah, oh, there's the bell. This lady is terrific. Fantastic. Well played, Marilyn. Granny. Excellent. $116. Won very, very comfortable in the end. Let me just explain about edifice. And you said facade. I, no, it had to be a building, a building. I, I'll just check that, but I, I think a facade can be anything, but not a... Front of a building, Tony. Thanks, friend. You're looking well. See you later. Okay. Um, so there it is. Okay, Marilyn. Rose and Tam, I'm sorry. I think you, you've really hit a brick wall here with this lady. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's all right. I don't mean to call you a brick wall, Marilyn. What I mean is uh, some nights it's very tough. <laughs> Over to you, Elise. Better than a brick anything. Oh, uh, Rose, thanks very much for playing. You're going home with prices, prices <laughs> to the total of $1,164. Thank you for playing. Thank thanks, you. Rose. And um, it's, it's listening to you, Tan, that made me say that. Thank you. Did you have a good time? Yes. That's good. Have a nice weekend. Bye. All the best to both of you and also these prizes from Peter. Tony Rose and Tam both received the push button sale of the century game from Crown and Andrews, plus our diamond set stick pin from Bruce and Walsh Jewelers and sale of the century. Well done, Mel. Thanks, Tony. Great effort, and I love that dress too. Thanks very much. Let's go shopping. You've reached the end of the week in great fettle. You're in great condition. You've won. No, on this side. You've won all that marvelous sound equipment and and the uh, the entertainment unit, the television set, and all of that. But what's more important to you right now is probably this. What you're coming back Monday to play for. Marilyn, a true treasure from the deep. This stunning necklace has 35 South Sea pearls sculptured by nature and featuring a magnificent deep luster. It's highlighted by an 18 karat gold clasp and is valued at $21,000 from Kleppner's Jewelers and the sale of the century. That's nice to start you off for next week. Should you proceed through to as far as Tuesday next week, then you'll play for this. Continue a musical tradition on a grand scale. 
This magnificent grand piano, created from superb mahogany timbers, is from a German company who've been handcrafting pianos since 1885. It's valued at $25,195 from Allen's Music and Sale of the Symphony. And you've been scoring very high scores, so you're getting there quite quickly, not far away, these cars. Presenting a motoring combination that meets the demands of today. Both these outstanding vehicles take on a more distinctive tone with their engineering design reaching a new level of refinement from their super-efficient engine cooling system to their aerodynamic styling. The BL Berliner Wagon and Sedan are on the road at $43,300 from Holden, Australia's driving future. And as a brilliant compliment to these superb vehicles, solid gold key ring set with 30 diamonds valued at $4,000 from Bruce and Walsh Jewelers. That's those there that he's talking about, Marilyn. Two beautiful cars. And the cars and the prizes next week are worth $126,000, which is a lot. And the cash jackpot's getting up, too. Tonight's sale of the century cash jackpot totals $98,000. Which means the grand total on Monday would be $226,000 odd. All right? It is. And you, you're doing it well and winning easily. Terrific. Um, if you want to, though, you can say, well, I've really had enough, Tony, because I'm desperate for uh, the sound system. And here it is. Marilyn, capture those magic moments forever with this lightweight video camera, accessories, and 68-centimeter monitor television. A compact disc player and advanced sound system complete this exciting audio-visual package. Normally $15,255, tonight, $240 from Sony Australia and sale of the century. So there it is. That's tonight. Yours if you want it. Leave the show or back on Monday to play for all those new prizes and follow them through. What are you going to do? I'll come back to you. Have a good weekend. Don't let it worry you. Just relax. Enjoy yourself. Have a good weekend, everyone. We'll see you Monday. Keep smiling and bye for now. Bye, bye everyone. Go, Hillies. Go to Hillmen. Go, Alexandra. We're playing Dramana tomorrow. The week on a high note scoring 116 and tonight needs just ten dollars for a stunning pearl necklace valued at twenty one thousand dollars tonight on australia's biggest bargain sale we're offering a berliner wagon and a berliner sedan valued at forty three thousand three hundred dollars for five hundred and fifteen dollars all the prices plus a cash jackpot of one hundred thousand dollars for seven hundred dollars two of the incredible bargains on sale of the century and here's the star of the show tony Papa. bang bang you're the end and the delightful elise platt <laughs> the show what a lovely evening here we are may the 18th the year's just slipping by isn't it how are you well is everybody happy yeah. lovely happy audience <laughs> We've had marilyn. Happy beans. hello marilyn hi tony marilyn's school teacher from west australia and very good player isn't she Liz? excellent yeah. very good did you have a good weekend lovely thanks Liz. It was very big restful. question though did you back the winner of the adelaide cup today i couldn't win an argument tony with horses no good with the horses? No, did you have a bet today? No, I didn't. I did. did. I love it. I always back the winner of the Adelaide Cup today. Did it again, you little beauty. You ripper. Here's $200 <laughs> for you, and here's 100 I've got the money right here. Isn't oh, that good? that's good. I've got a feeling a lot of people will want to um, get tips from you in the future. Yeah, Tony, why not? You know the winner today. All right. Who's playing uh, on this Well, night? tonight we have a bird-watching rigger from Victoria and a translator who enjoys pottery from South Wales. Please welcome Rena Stendriver and Victoria Bracamonti. By golly, isn't How it? Is your surname? What about that? Look at those surnames. I know. An illustration of the ever-diversifying nature of our cultural background in this country. Bracamonti, uh, Dendriver and Bentine. Amazing. Victoria. Hello, Tony. Hello. Are you well? Very well, thank you. That's the shot. Translating, we've had a translator we on did last, last week. week. Mm -hmm. What languages do you do? Uh, Spanish, primarily. Spanish, eh, English. Si, señorita. Mm -hmm. Spanish. Yes. 
What is Spanish for good luck? Buena suerte. Buena suerte, señorita, buena suerte. We are the three amigos. No, <laughs> Wherever there is injustice, there you will find buena suerte. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, señorita. Renus, where do you come from? Uh, Geelong, Tony. Oh, right. Uh, I can speak Geelong. Uh, <laughs> what, um, and, and you're a rigger? That's right. Up high all the time? Oh, sometimes, Tony, yes. Yeah, I don't know how that, have you seen him up yes, there? Yes, I have. Terrifying. No idea how they could do it. Yeah, and you know, just eating an apple and looking down. And... <laughs> Not quite. Yeah. Where do you get all your knowledge, Renus? I uh, read a lot, Tony. Read a lot. Mm. That's the only way to do it. Well, good luck to both challenges, and yes. let's see if Marilyn can kick on. And I'll see you all in the gift Take shop. Take your golden balls away from me, child. There you go. Okay, round one. And there's the fame game on the floor. I got it. We're ready. King Arthur's knights were called the Knights... Renus. Round table. Of the round table, right. Who married Ava Braun in April, Marilyn? Adolf Hitler. 1945 is correct. To which racial group do 95% of Hong Kong's population, Marilyn? Chinese. Belong to the Chinese, you're right. What starting with W is a shelter used by North American Indians? Marilyn. Wigwam. Wigwam is correct. What kind of creature is a grey plover? Marilyn. It's a bird. It's a bird, yes. The 1981 Academy Award for Best Picture was Chariots, Marilyn. Of fire. Of fire, what a great start. Marilyn, you've come back better than ever. I mean, you are really firing. You're 20 ahead of Renus with $45 to spend. And here is Elise in a beautiful summer setting. Marilyn, if you're sick of lifting heavy outdoor furniture trying to chase the sun, you need this versatile sun lounge. It was crafted in Europe from synthetic weatherproof material. It can be adjusted to four positions and has wheels for easy positioning. Normally $589, tonight only $6 from Alabert, Australia. <laughs> And sale of the century. Thank you. And the frog man. No? Yes. Hello. Hello, Paula. How are you? Um, Marilyn, are you there? Are you there, Marilyn? This is great. It's, it's the outdoor furniture, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Do you have, it's not Paula. <laughs> have it, no, you have a lot of sunshine in uh, WA. So you, you could make good use of this at $4, couldn't you? Yes, you can. And you see, there it is, just like that. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Full sold. A little sale surprise. Have you got a compact disc player? No. You have now. It's from Akai and it's worth nearly $500. Beauty. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Let us press on. What was the name given to the sculpture of a man in contemplation? Marilyn. The Thinker? Yes. Uh, August Rodin, of course, in 1880. Which is the only vowel not contained in the word outrageous? Renus. E. No, there's an I. There is an E. There's no I, I mean. There's an E, but no I. He who fights and runs away, Marilyn. Lives to fight another day. And you are fighting so well, day after day after day. In the early 20th century, in what area of entertainment were the Ringling Brothers, Renus? Circus, though. Famous in the circus. Good on you, Renus. Go to 25 now. What is my name, Victoria? This would be a good one for you to get, maybe catch up a little. I am a sport. A sport. I'm enjoyed mainly in the Northern Hemisphere because the colder climatic conditions are suited to me. I originated about 1890 and I've been one of the sports involved in the Winter Olympics since 1924. The vehicle used in me weighs about 106 Renus. Bobsled. That's the one. Bobsledding. They go flying down. That's a very thrilling sport. Frighteningly thrilling. On the board for you to pick from, all our best friends on the, on the fame game. David Lyle. He does the golden years of television, knows all the trivia. Emma Sands. She's in the Colbys and she's lovely. John Blackman. Hey, hey, it's Saturday, The Voice, and 3AK Melbourne's best breakfast program in Australia. Veronica Hamill. Hill Street Blues. Uh, Samara Cairns. Uh, Samara's our uh, home viewer tonight. She's a 10-year-old philatelist from Bendigo, Victoria. Lots of love, Samara. Carolyn Ainsley. Carolyn's the weekend newsreader in Adelaide. Ian Chappell. Uh, Gibbo's Offsider in Wide World of Sports. Sarah Henderson. News presenter Brisbane. And Kirk Douglas. In a great movie with Kirk Douglas, with uh, Bert Lancaster called Tough Guys. Renus. Uh, Veronica Hamill, please. Veronica please. Hamill's coming up. Here she comes. Lovely prize, you've won 30 volumes of beautifully bound encyclopedia complete with bookcase valued at $1,548 from Encyclopedia Britannica. Not bad. Right. $1,000, nice pickup, lovely. 
Marilyn Benteen, everyone from WA, is killing him again. She's taken off like a rocket out of the boxes. Renus and Victoria, you got your work cut out. We'll be back after the break. Make sure you're making catch up. Thank you. I've, uh, I don't know what sort of a commercial break you had, but I had a beauty. I got given a lovely silver spoon from the Footscray Girls High School. And thank you, girls. And thank you especially, um, Caroline Fitzgerald, their uh, lovely teacher, for bringing the girls in today. Thank you. Uh, righto, we're away. What animal has a skin literally resembling a suit of Marilyn? An armadillo. Of armour. Yeah, armadillo is right. By gee, you're quick. Which European capital is the world's largest market for coin collectors? Renus. Paris. No, it's London. I'm sorry. What was the name of the shipwrecked Swiss family in the novel Marilyn? Robinson. Swiss family Robinson is right. It's all one-way traffic here. On the 25th of June, 1950, troops of which country invaded Renus? North Korea. South Korea. North Korea is right. Going in the right direction. What a wonderful experience for you, Marilyn, because, you know, on nights like this, you can really afford to lash out because there's no worries. You're so far ahead and everything. You're, you're uh, 30 or 35, $36 ahead. And here's Elise at the chess table. Marilyn, you can't get much better at chess than former world champion Gary Kasparov, and here's how he improves his technique. This chess computer is Swiss-made, and it features advanced technology housed in a full-sized, worn-up board. It has hand-carved pieces, and it can also be linked to your personal computer. Normally $1,300, tonight only $9. Leonardo by Computer Play and Silent Century. Hello. Hello. You're Gary. I'm Gary. Kasparov. How you going? Ah, uh, very well, Ski. This is how you improve um, your technique. This is Ski, how I did it, Ski. <laughs> With this Paula in a swimsuit. And Paula, the in Russia, we do not have girls like this. <laughs> that is what I'm doing here in Australia. <laughs> 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 but uh, I did improve my game dramatically with the use of, uh, the use of this computer, girl. Uh, this uh, this uh, computer, computer driven. Computer chess board. Yes. Marilyn, do you play chess? Very badly. Well, I used you to did. play very badly indeed, but then I got one of these. You come from India now. <laughs> <laughs> going, going at six dollars. It's six dollars once, twice sold at that price. Okay. So, okay. For many years, which American comedy star served as UNICEF's ambassador at large, Marilyn? Bob Hope. To the world's children, it was Danny Kay, the late Danny Kay, wonderful man, did a lot of work for UNESCO. In which state is the mining town of Mary Catherine? Renus. Western Australia. It's in Queensland. I'm sorry, Renus, you're going up and down on the one spot. In the 1790s, which country had a period of rule called the Directory, Renus? Uh, France. France is correct. Victoria, you know all these, don't you? I can tell you know them, but <laughs> it's just the speed of the buzzer. Yes. What English port was the destination of the Channel Ferry which met with disaster, Maryland? Dover. It was bound for Dover, March 1987. On an heraldic shield, which is the sinister side, Marilyn? The left. The left side for sinister, correct. Who am I? Second pick of the board. I was born in the USA in 1880 and died in 1968. At about the age of seven, my life was changed by a personal tutor named Anne Sullivan, Marilyn. Helen Keller? From Boston, Helen Keller is correct. Very good. Not that you need it, but there's uh, lots of money up there if you can get it, Marilyn. Um, I'd like the home viewer, please, Tony. The home, little, uh, little... Tonight's uh, prize, Marilyn, you've won a singing machine, including assorted musical tapes for hours of entertainment. Valued at $599, the singing machine. Wonderful, Marilyn, they're great. They, um... And hello to Maggie Britton, too, who distributes them in Victoria. Marilyn, um, they, they're great. Do you sing? In the shower. Well, now you'll sing out. Don't take it into the shower. Yeah, I was wondering about that. <laughs> but they give you echo and everything. It's a terrific prize. We're going to have a short break, everyone. While we're away, consider this. An American crooner had hits like For the Good Times, Cupid Doll and Catch a Falling Star, and he was born on this day, 1912. What his name is? What is his name? 1912. The cash box round. $11,000, 11 big ones in the uh, cash box. And Marilyn showing the opposition a clean pair of heels. Perry Como, birthday today. Perry Como, born 1912. 75, is he? 75. 
That's amazing. Isn't he still working too? What colour are you said to be in if you're in excellent health? Marilyn. In the pink. You're in the pink. Quite right. In colloquial language, what colourful two-word term describes the often considerable payment made to employees whose services... Marilyn. Oh, uh, no, I've lost it. Sorry. Uh, prematurely dispensed with? It's called the golden handshake. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. What part of the goose or duck is used to make... Marilyn. The liver. Pâté de foie gras? Ooh, uh, uh, there's the liver right. Between 1964 and 1984, the winner of 14 Australian professional snooker titles was Renus. Eddie Charlton. Eddie Charlton. All right, Renus, you closed up a bit there, but by golly, Marilyn's got that huge lead. $35, which is precisely what it'll cost you to have a dash at the $11,000 in the catwalk. <laughs> I mean, the great thing is, I mean, you've established your superiority. You know that you can afford to make the sacrifice and maybe pick up that money. Don't you? No, don't you, I don't. <laughs> no. no. So you're not going to do it? No, thanks. Not going to have a go? No. Have a pretend go. I'll tell you what, what about, uh, I'll tell you what, Caroline Fitzgerald from Footscray, if you get the money, you can have what number? <laughs> number one. for Caroline Fitzgerald, number, number one. one. Here, yeah. No, it was oh, in number two. Only $200, oh. sorry. There it is. Number two had it. So there you go. Thank you, Sparks. In Roman mythology, who was the god of war? Marilyn? Mars. Mars was the god of war, right. In 1918, in Britain, women attaining what age? Victoria. 21. Given the right to vote. Uh, women of 30 were given the right to vote. In the American Civil War, uniforms of which colour were worn by Renus? <laughs> Grey, huh? No, the Southern... Yeah, yeah, that's right, Southern. Grey, grey uniforms. Well done. You're halfway there. What is my name? I am a film with a two-word title. Produced in 1955, I'm an American comedy. My plot describes the events that occur on a US Pacific Navy cargo ship during World War II. The ship called... Rhinus. Renus. Mr. Roberts? Mr. Roberts is correct, yes. Well done. I don't know whether I'm getting... It, it, Rhinus or Renus? No, Renus, Tony. Renus right. is good, yeah, right. Whose face, Renus? Uh, Everyone Emma, a winner? Emma Samsa. Emma? Lovely Emma. Congratulations, Renus. You won a hostess food trolley for all your entertaining requirements, valued at $650 from Dimplex. Very nice and pleasant. The, um... The money was there. The wild card was with David Lyle. The other money is with John Blackman and Carolyn Ainsley. And Ian Chappell had the $25. Which was all spread around the place. All right, Marilyn has really got this seemingly sewn up. But stranger things have happened than that perhaps she could still yet come adrift. We'll be back with Fast Money. else could you turn to? Nearly home on Monday night. It's Fast Money time. Marilyn's been pretty good at this in the past. She doesn't need to be too good tonight. You've already got a lead of 35, Marilyn. But best wishes to you. Remember, if you get through tonight, the prize will be... Someone said quickly... A magnificent... Cut-throat cut -throat razor. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's a pearl necklace. All right. Which Australian... Uh, stand by. Stand by. 60 seconds on the clock. Your time starts... Now, which Australian city is called the City of Churches? Renus. Adelaide. Correct. What form of transport is a paddle wheeler? Marilyn. It's a boat. Correct. What do we call a mature male horse? Marilyn. Stallion. Correct. In which country are the Bavarian Alps? Marilyn. Germany. More information? East Germany. West Germany. Which British rock was one of the pillars of Hercules? Marilyn. Plymouth. Gibraltar. What card game was the direct forerunner of bridge? Renus. West. Yes. What is the false covering of hair for the head? Marilyn. Wig. Yeah. In which country is the city of Wichita? Marilyn. United States. Correct. The disease pertussis is also called... Whooping Marilyn. Cough. Correct. Of which very cold ocean is the White Sea in arm? Marilyn. The Antarctic. The Arctic Ocean. Which country's troops were called diggers? Renus. Australia. Correct. In Roman mythology, who's the god of wine? Marilyn. Bacchus. Correct. To succeed and win is to bring home the... Marilyn. Bacon. Correct. What's the basic currency unit of Switzerland? Renus. Swiss franc. Correct. Who was Australia's Prime Minister in 1974? Renus. Gough Whitlam. Yes, that's right. Uh, but there's the bell and Marilyn's won comfortably with 90 dollars. Marilyn has the knowledge and the speed to go all the way. Great game, champ. You're a bit stiff, Renus. I think most other nights you might have been a winner, but... Uh, 
You've met Superwoman here, and that's fast the buzzer tone. And Victoria, you knew everyone, just couldn't get in there. <laughs> couldn't get in fast enough, Tony. Yeah, have you got any largesse to dispense there, uh, Sparks? Um, fortunately not. Uh, Victoria, did you have a good time? Thank you. Good. Thank you very much for playing. Bye-bye. <laughs> However, Renus is taking home prizes to the total of $2,198. Well played. Bye-bye. Okay. Well rewarded. Renus for a good effort. And for each of you, some other prizes as well. Peter, your turn. Thank you, Tony. Victoria and Renus both received the push-button sale of the century game from Crown and Andrews, plus our diamond set stick pin from Bruce and Walsh Jewelers and the sale of the century. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you Tony. Got a big win. Great. Listen, did you, um... Did you finish up staying the weekend, or did you...? Yes, I stayed over the oh, weekend. I didn't good. go home. It was lovely. I had a chance to look around Melbourne. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Let's go shopping and look around this part of Melbourne, which is terrific. All the great prizes. Wonderful things. Because it's Monday, we're going to show you everything we've got on display and culminating with what you've actually qualified for. But look at this for a start. Marilyn, your next opponent could be Dennis Connor. This quarter-scale replica of Australia 2 is designed by Ben Lexon and offers all the thrills of competitive or leisurely sailing. It's easy to handle and virtually unsinkable. Normally $6,600, tonight $75. The Ben Lexon Quarter 12. Real good fun. The Quarter 12, yes. We've also got uh, this on display this week. Marilyn, welcome to the Club of Comfort. This luxurious leather suite was crafted in Australia as one of a limited edition. It features a classic design by award-winning Gerald Easton. Normally $10,500, tonight $155. Plaza by Module International. Plaza, Module, lovely. You're in the Yacht Club, isn't that lovely? Um, the holiday prize is in, in, nearby in New Caledonia. Marilyn, discover the French Riviera in the South Pacific. Two people with $5,000 spending money will enjoy two sun-drenched weeks in Numea with car hire, meals, day trips, great accommodation and first-class flights included. Normally $14,760, tonight $240 from New Caledonia Government Tourist Office, UTA and Sale of the Century. It's lovely, yes, be careful in the same <laughs> But there's casinos and everything. Lovely, lovely holiday. All right, a magnificent musical instrument for you now with Sparks. Marilyn, you may not be an accomplished musician like Barbara Bellamy, but you'll be inspired to try with this grand piano. It was created from superb mahogany timbers and it comes from a German company who have been handcrafting pianos since 1885. Normally $25,195. Tonight, only $420 from Allen's Music and Sale of the Century. Memories. Think of the, think of the musical memories you'd be able to make with that lovely piano. Lovely. And just a short way away in your carport, a pair of perlers. Presenting a motoring combination that meets the demands of today. Both these outstanding vehicles take on a more distinctive tone with their engineering design reaching a new level of refinement from their super efficient engine cooling system to their aerodynamic styling. The VL Bolina wagon and sedan are on the road at $43,300. Tonight, $515 from Holden, Australia's driving future. Two cars, two key rings. Thousand prizes, $125,000 worth. The cash jackpot has hit a magic figure. Tonight's sale of the century cash jackpot totals $100,000. Nice amount, isn't it? Grand total, $225,000. Now, let me tell you what you are now qualified for. You've reached this level. It's beautiful. It's the boils here. Marilyn, a true treasure from the deep. This stunning necklace has 35 South Sea pearls sculptured by nature and featuring a magnificent deep luster and 18 karat gold clasp. Normally $21,000, tonight $330 from Kleppner's Jewelers and Sale of the Century. Isn't that beautiful? $21,000 and they're Baroque. But oh, we'll get them fixed before you... <laughs> no, no, they're lovely, uh, but, but you wouldn't want to lose them. You can have those and leave, or you can come back tomorrow night and play for bigger things. I'll come back tomorrow. Why not? You had an easy win tonight. I mean, you could go all the way. No worries. See you tomorrow night, Marilyn. And you, ma'am. All right? Yes, see you. Good night, everyone. Keep smiling, and bye for now. See you Tuesday. Good night, Lisa. Good night, Lisa. She leaving. Good night, Marilyn.
woman shows she's heading for big things and tonight needs just ten dollars for a grand piano valued at twenty five thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars tonight on australia's biggest bargain sale we're offering a berlina wagon and a berlina sedan valued at forty three thousand three hundred dollars for five hundred and fifteen dollars all the prices plus a cash jackpot of one hundred and two thousand dollars for seven hundred dollars two of the incredible bargains on sale of the century and here's the star of the show tony Papa. wow 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 tuesday night Thank you, Peter. Good evening, all. Welcome to the show. Nice crowd in the audience. A big crowd for Tuesday. Nice to see you all. Everybody happy? Yes! Ah, I've been happy for so long. <laughs> and there's Marilyn. She's happy Marilyn Bentheim from WA. Willerton, a school teacher at? Riverton Primary. Riverton Primary with the grade fives. That's right. Yeah. I bet they're so proud of their teacher. I think they are. Yeah. Well, if they're not, there should be. So would the kids be, I think. Jesse, Rachel, and Sarah. That's correct. Are they, that's... are they good at school? Yes. Oh, yes. Very clever. Yeah. Well, I have to say that. I'm their mum. Well, no right. wonder. With a mum like you, I would think so. Uh, $12,000 in the cash box for you tonight, Marilyn. Thanks, Tony. If you happen to be in front at the right time. Last week, Marilyn had a couple of pretend picks and actually would have got it, but she didn't go through with it. Anyway, good luck tonight, champ. If you get $95, you've won two cars. A big game for you. Ladies and gentlemen, to introduce the big game opponents, the big game lady herself, Tiger McSparren. Uh, Tiger Platt. Big game. Lions, Tigers. Hello, everyone. How are you? Gee, they work hard on your hair. Yes, Every I day, do. a different do. Yes, they do. It's great fantastic, job, isn't they? it? Andrea. Guess, Thanks, Andrea. Guess you got a head chopped off on this day in 1536. Um... Talking about hair. Oh, she was married to Henry VIII. Yes. Um, yes. She had Elizabeth by him. And the first name was Anne. Anne. Bo. Lynn. Bo Lynn. Is that it? Anne Boleyn? Everyone's going. <laughs> that was great. It was a very great Anne story. Anne yes. Yeah. And it was um, uh, Gene Simmons in the movie. Anne Boleyn, she said to the axeman, she said, Do you remember what she said? I wasn't there, Tony. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> very good. And she Jane said, look, she said, Mr. Axman, please be gentle because your axe is so big and my neck is so small. That's what she said. You sure? Chonk! That's what she said. Oh, Bring okay. her the plasma. Okay. Tonight we have an inventive police technical officer from Queensland and a student studying industrial relations from New South Wales. Please welcome John Garner and Deirdre Mondale. Very nice too. Deirdre wants to be rich but not famous. Student where? Deirdre, student? At the University of New South Wales. A very fine body of learning, I'm sure. Got lots of friends there? Oh, yes. They're all watching. I hope not. <laughs> yes, they are. You do them proud. You'll be great. Don't worry. I'll try. Fine. John is a police technical officer. What does that mean, John? Do you devise breathalysers and things? No. I'm uh, involved in photography and crime scene work and uh, a police artist also. Oh, right. When, and they, when they draw a, a line around the uh, whatever happened and yes, all of that. From a witness's description, yes. Yes. Very good. He would have a very well-ordered mind, would John? He would. Yeah. Put you... Mm, be, be a good game tonight. $20 each. Anne Boleyn. See you all in the gift shop. Bye-bye. Off it came. We're playing, folks. Can Marilyn do it again? In French cuisine, which part of the frog is edible? Marilyn. The legs. It's legs. Right. Complete the first line of the 1948 song... All I want for Christmas, Marilyn? Is my two front teeth. My two front teeth, right. What kind of creature is a chat thrush, Marilyn? A bird. It's a bird. Which adjective, meaning moderately cold, is an anagram of loco, Marilyn? Cool. Cool. Think she's getting the hang of this game? Is that <laughs> the feel. What are you expecting if you're in the family way, Marilyn? A baby. A little bundle of joy, a tiny blessing. Which American city is called the City of the Golden Gate? John. San Francisco. Good to hear from you. That broke up the uh, routine a little bit. But Marilyn stays ahead. 45 leads by 20. Marilyn, your first option to buy? 
and we have something rather special and a bit naughty. I'm um, sorry, a bit nautical. Not naughty. For you. naughty. <laughs> well, it's time to get everything ship shape with this nautical clock and barometer. They were crafted in Germany from polished brass and feature precise jeweled spring wound movements. Normally $600, tonight only $6. Uh, Shots by Timecraft and Sail Century. They're from Timecraft. Can you do that? Oh, yes. And I think it's my turn to sit on the barrel tonight. Oh. Yes. Aren't we lucky there was a lid on it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's funnier than you think. Marilyn, um, what do you say? Lovely prize. Something very sort of uh, souvenirish for you. For, for your trip on the show, your stay on the show. Is the other one a, a barometer? Yes. yes. Barometer, chronometer. Going, going, $4 sold at that price. <laughs> All right. Which band formed in 1971 do we associate with Paul and Linda McCartney? John. Wings. Wings is right, yes. One of my kids said to me the other day, did you know Paul McCartney was in another group before Wings? <laughs> he did, yeah. In economic matters, for what does the abbreviation CPI literally, Marilyn? Cost price index. No, consumer price, price index. index. Consumer yep. price index. Which saint is known as the apostle to Ireland, Marilyn? Patrick. It had to be Patrick and there's only $11 the difference. Which food has the varieties Parmesan, Deirdre? Cheese. Cheese. Good to hear from you, Deirdre. You'll find the first one is the hub. Once you've got that off your chest, you'll be away. Who am I? Stage name, please, stage name. I was born in England and educated in France. I came to Australia in the late 60s and was the female lead in the stage production of There's a Girl in My Soup. Marilyn. Abigail. Abigail's right. You're a very good friend of Sparky's, actually. Abigail. Yeah, Abby. You'll pick Marilyn. You've got a chance to pick from our famous faces on the board as follows. Ian Chappell. Ian Chappell is the co-compere of Wide World of Sports. Lenore Smith. She's the nurse lady. She's lovely in The Flying Doctors. Ian Leslie. My mate from 60 Minutes. Carolyn Ainsley. Weekend News Adelaide. Alison Buccelli. Our home viewer of the night, a lovely housewife who enjoys pottery from Balga in WA. Hello, Alison. Sarah Henderson. Sarah's with um, Channel 9 Brisbane. She does the news. Kirk Douglas. He's in the movie Tough Guys. Veronica Hamill. Hill Street Blues. And Mark Harmon. Of St. Elsewhere. Marilyn. Mark Harmon, please. Mark Hamlin. Congratulations, you've won oven to tableware, Marilyn, including casserole dishes, baking dishes, souffle dishes and more, valued at $588 from Oropus, Australia. Very nice too, all sorts of dishes, you see. It's not just the, uh, not just the ginormous stuff you win, those nice little things along the way, they're lovely, aren't they? It's beautiful. That's a great prize. Well, John looks like he's uh, in for a good night, you're only 11 behind at the moment, John. Chance, Deirdre's got the first one out of the system. And we'll be back with more after this break. Off to a fairly even break tonight. Which prefix meaning great or huge is Deirdre? Sorry. It's an anagram of game and the word is mega. You know, like mega bucks, mega star, etc. The American singer who set an endurance record in 1932 for marathon dancing when he danced for 3,501 hours in five months was Frankie Marilyn. Avalon. No. Oh, no, he wasn't alive then, no. Uh, Frankie Lane won $500 for doing it. Frankie Lane. What is the official language of Venezuela? Deirdre. Spanish. It is Spanish, yes. Which word rhymes with man and means a light yellowish-brown colour? Marilyn. Tan. Tan and man, right. For 41 again. Leading by 11. Great prize for you, Marilyn. You don't get much opportunity to do this sort of thing in the West. But we'd like to send you on a special holiday, don't we? Yes, we do. And next month is the official opening of the ski season. And you could be an early bird on this skiing holiday for two at Falls Creek. It's for seven nights and includes meals, ski equipment and lessons, ski passes and return airfares. Normally $2,608. Tonight only $10 from Trackers Mountain Lodge, Kendall Airlines and Ansett Airlines. But isn't it great up there, love? Yeah, it's fabulous. Tell her all about it. Well, um, we went there last year for the official we opening there, yeah. and there wasn't any snow. Didn't matter. We, yeah, it didn't matter. You had a great time anyway. Yeah. What did we play? Uh, Thumper. We played Thumper. That's right. Yes. It's a great game. It's you, you bang your ta the table. And the food was nice, wasn't it, And it, it was great. And the skiing's, Falls Creek is the best place in Australia to go. 
For you, $8. You'll need $200 cash for um, incidentals. Well, that tracker supplies everything. Yeah. Really. Yes. Yes, you'll need the $200 for when you have to buy drinks for everybody when you lose a thumper. Which is Canada's busiest Pacific port? John? Vancouver. It is Vancouver. Which homophone means both to cripple or disable and is the name of a Jerry Herman musical about a boy brought up Deirdre? Mame. By an eccentric aunt. Mame is right. Hey, good game here. A year is the time taken for the Earth to orbit Marilyn. The sun. The sun, correct. Which very popular English writer is responsible for poems such as I wish I'd looked after me teeth? Marilyn. Pam Ayres. Yes, the thoughts of a late night knitter. Pam Ayres is right. What article of clothing are you said to wear two of if you have two jobs? Marilyn. Two hats. Wearing two hats and you look to be in a little trouble there but you've just shot away again. Who are we? Deirdre and John chance to catch up. We are a family who ruled England towards the end of the Middle Ages. John of Gaunt, the fourth son of Edward III, founded my dynasty and my brother Edmund founded a rival family. We ruled England from 1399 to 1461 and for a short time, Deirdre. Lancasters? We are the Lancaster family, Deirdre. Excellent. That's, uh, put you in with a chance, Deirdre. Fifteen dollars there? Um... Ten? Sarah Henderson, please. Sarah Henderson? Come on, Sarah. Congratulations, Deidre. You've won two handy bedroom storage systems that have a multitude of uses, valued at $680 from Alpha Storage System. The money would have been better, but I mean, that's, that's quite nice. A nice prize anyway. All right, viewers at home, you've got a chance to play off with each other. Lawrence of Arabia died on this day, 1935. He died in England as a result of... What did he die? Lawrence of Arabia. Did you say that? Lawrence of Arabia, motorbike accident when he was back in England. That's what caused it. Uh, just a little correction, Marilyn. Earlier we may have mentioned you needed $95 and a win for both the cars. It's not. It's 105 It's going to work just that little much harder if you want those. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Gospels of Mark and John, which Mary was the first person, Marilyn? Mary Magdalene. To see the resurrected Christ is correct. <laughs> Off the coast of which Scandinavian country, starting with N... Maryland. Norway. Is the Milestone. Yes, too quick for him. What was the name of the famous train which ran from Adelaide, John? Gann. To Alice Springs. Gann is correct. Up you go. The famous anthropological study, Coming of Age in Samoa, was the work of Margaret Marilyn. Mead. Mead for $63. Cash box time. $12,000 in the cash box, everybody. There it is. $63, you lead, Marilyn. Cost you $23 to have a look. Got a couple of cars resting on the result of tonight's game. I couldn't do it, Tony. You couldn't possibly do it, I could you? No. If you could do it, you'd probably say what? Three. You're going to be sorry. <laughs> That's been the story of Marilyn's life. I tell you what, it's just sort of tragic. Never mind, you're still in good shape for the, for the game overall. For which product is Marsala in Sicily, Marilyn? A wine. Famous for wine, a sweet wine, which is very good with veal. Do you have a scallopino marsala? Oh, lovely. Beautiful with a veal. In the USA, by what commissioner's name, starting with T, Deirdre? Uh, Tower Commissioner. Is the recently released port on Iran Contra Affair? That was a very good answer, very quick too. What contagious disease, starting with M, is known medically? Deirdre. Malaria. As uh, rubiola. It's measles. Wrong M. Sorry. Who am I? Pick of the board. I was born in Scotland in 1756 and died in 1836. Emigrating to New York at the age of 14, I returned as a young man with a fortune made in commerce. From 1810 onwards, Marilyn. Carnegie? No. Road making became my dominant interest and the building of experimental roads used up most of my fortune, John. McAdam. I am McAdam. John McAdam. Well done, John. All right, you can uh, edge a little closer here. There's money available. Who would you like? Lenore Smith, please. Lenore Smith coming up. Lenore has got $10. And now there's only $18 of the diff. All right. There we go. There's um, another round to go. Oh, hang on. No, that's, yes, we've got to show you all the other things. Hmm. The money. 
The wild card was with Veronica Hamill. Yeah. And the other money was with Alison Buccelli and Carolyn Anthony at the $25. Roger the Dodger. Uh, $68. A lead of 18. Not the greatest lead to take into Fast Money, which is a very furious affair. We'll be back after the break. See if John and Beardry can catch up. Fast Money. The last bit. Marilyn not winning quite as easily as she has previous evenings, but still looking good. Sixty-eight fifty for you, John. Deirdre, $30. If you did really well, you could still win. 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck, everyone. Your time starts now. With what religion do we associate kosher food? Marilyn. The Jewish. Correct. An unplanned killing of another person is Marilyn. Murder. Manslaughter. Manhattan is part of what great city? Marilyn. New York. Correct. The creature Mantid is better known as? John. Pass. Pass. A praying mantis. In what country, starting with T, is Dar es Salaam? Deirdre. Tunisia. Tanzania. What sea separates England and Ireland? Marilyn. The Irish sea. Correct. Towards the dissolution of what is a decree in eyesight? Marilyn. Marriage. Correct. What US state is nearest to the Bahamas? John. Florida. Correct. What's the short, stiff skirt worn by ballet dancers? Marilyn. Tutu. Correct. Which city experienced a great fire? 1660. John. London. Right. What kind of dog is a Welsh Springer? Marilyn. Spaniel. Correct. In what country did acupuncture originate? Marilyn. China. Correct. What's the 11th month of the calendar year? Marilyn. November. Correct. On which continent is the Robert Scott Glacier? Marilyn. Uh, Antarctica. Correct. In which religion does an Iman officiate? Marilyn. Muslim. Correct. In which ocean are the islands of Tuvalu? John. Yes, Pacific. Correct. In which North American country is Manitoba? There's the Bahamas. has got two cars. You've just, um, you've just demolished GMH. You've got two cars, well played. You won enough for the cars, isn't that good? Yeah, that's marvellous. That's great, that's great. John and Deirdre, sorry, someone's got to be the victims on these occasions. And unfortunately, it had to be you. Over to you, that's please, right, but Deirdre, you are taking home something to the value of $680. Thank you very much for playing. Thank you. John, thank you. Bad luck. Um, Pete Smith's got something for you. Bye-bye. Thank you both, and here they are, the consolations. Deidre and John both received the exciting sale of the century game from Crown and Andrews, plus our diamond set stick pin from Bruce and Walsh Jewelers and sale of the century. Congratulations. Thanks again, Tom. All right, you won the cars. Oh, I'm still nervous. Don't worry, don't be nervous. Just be excited. You have got some big decisions to make. Let's go shopping. You see, what's happened is you have won the cars and therefore... It's important for you to have a good look at what you'll win if you come back and play again. In fact, you'll win the lot. And it, uh, well, let's start over here. Marilyn, wing your way to victory. This quarter-scale replica of Australia 2 was designed by Ben Lexon and offers all the thrills of competitive or leisurely sailing. The craft is easy to handle and is virtually unsinkable. Normally $6,600, tonight $75. The Ben Lexon quarter 12. You can, you can pull that behind the cars, or one of them. All right. You would also, you'll be playing for this as part of the package. Marilyn, a lounge of rare distinction. This luxurious leather suite was crafted in Australia as one of a limited edition and features a classic design by award-winning Gerald Easton. Normally $10,500, tonight $155, Plaza by Module International. Lovely furniture, something for the house, something for the whole family to enjoy. A holiday so you can relax after the torment. Marilyn fun, sun and French sophistication. Two lucky people with $5,000 spending money will enjoy two sun-drenched weeks in Numea with car hire, meals, day trips, great accommodation and first-class flights included. Normally $14,760, tonight $240 from New Caledonia Government Tourist Office, UTA and Sale of the Century. So you do need a little bit of a rest after this. A lot of tension. Oh, a lot of tension on you, a lot, a lot of pressure. Uh, we've got the magnificent pearls for you. A glistening ocean of beauty, Marilyn. This stunning necklace has 35 South Sea pearls sculptured by nature and featuring a magnificent deep luster and 18 karat gold clasp. Normally $21,000, tonight $330 from Kleppner's Jewelers and Sale of the Century. Right, and then also part of the whole thing, everyone can stand around the piano and sing for, for She's a Jolly Good Fellow. Marilyn, if you enjoy music on a grand scale, have a listen to the superb tones on this grand piano. 
It was crafted from superb mahogany timbers and it comes from a German company who have been handcrafting pianos since 1885. Normally $25,195, tonight $420 from Allen's Music that was and nice. Sale of the Century. Lovely, Barbara. Thank you very much. Very jolly. Haven't you got a nice time? She has. No one to talk with, Obama. Yes, I'm coming. Here's the cars. <laughs> this is what you want tonight. Presenting a motoring combination that meets the demands of today. Both these stylish vehicles are designed for modern motoring requirements with their revolutionary PowerTech engines that deliver increased performance with greater economy and tune themselves 100 times a second. The VL Bolina wagon and sedan are on the road at $43,300. Tonight, $515 from Holden, Australia's driving future. Here they are. And two key rings, because that's yours now. You see, you've won. You've won those. We get another key ring for you. The cars and the prizes are valued at $125,000. And this is very close to you as well. Look. Tonight's sale of the century cash jackpot totaling $102,000. You see, you only need another $83 and you will win not only the cars, but all those other prizes as well. Right? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to decide what you want to do. Marilyn Benthien, school teacher of Willett in Western Australia, being of sound mind. I don't know if I'm And quick mind. What have you decided to do? I'll come back to you. Good luck to you. That's what we like. Risk, risk taking. <laughs> risk taking. That's what they talk about in football nowadays. You've got to be able to prepared to take risks. That's right. Come and watch Marilyn take a big risk tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Keep smiling and... And goodbye for now. Bye for now. Good night, Kazzy. Good night, Kazzy. Bye. This is Marilyn Benthien from Western Australia. Last night, Marilyn's performance won her two cars, but she's bravely decided to return and play for all the prizes valued at $125,355. Tonight on Australia's biggest bargain sale, we're offering a Berlina wagon and a Berlina sedan valued at $43,300 for $515. All the prizes plus a cash jackpot of $104,000 for $700. Two of the incredible bargains on Sale of the Century. And now here's the star of the sale, Tony Potter. I'm so pink. Can we miss the edge? Ah, lovely. Thank you. Nice to see you all. Thanks for coming in the studio. And thank you wherever you're watching in Australia for joining us at home. And I reckon we'd have a big audience tonight, wouldn't we? Oh, we'd have a crowd because they all want to see Marilyn take all the prizes, don't they? Would be very nice, Tony. Yeah, that boat would be good. Lovely. Where would you sail it near where you are? Uh, the Canning River is fairly close. On the Canning? Yes. Great. Do you still get um, those uh, yabbies in the Canning River? Uh, jul julgies we get. What do you get? Julgies. It's Jugies. the same thing. I think it's a slightly different species. Or marin. Are they marin? Marin are the larger ones. Larger They're in the ones. fresh water. Yes. Uh... Well, that's good. You've only got one hurdle to cross. Oh, well, two, actually. Two opponents you've right. got to jump. And we're going to find out who they are. Ladies and gentlemen, to introduce Marilyn's opponents, the lovely Elise Lady in Red, Platt. Yes. Hello. Lovely. Is dancing with me cheek to cheek. That didn't work. <laughs> Get the desk in front of us. <laughs> hey, that's Tony's it's, um, song from the show. Yes. Look, everyone. Very important. And you? And me. How about famining at the weekend? I mean, for, yes, uh, yes. fasting. The World Vision 40 hour famine this weekend. Very, uh, very great organisation. They raise money for needy kids all over the world. And you can participate by fasting from 8 pm Friday, this Friday, until noon on Sunday. This Friday? Um, well... Is it next Friday? It's soon, it's, anyway. It's soon. Yeah. It's on the 30th of May that it starts. 
but 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 look oh. for the information on it and um, help the kids through world vision all right you will, you will. dancing with me <laughs> Who's playing uh, Marilyn? Well, tonight, big night. We, yeah, it is. We have a squash playing production manager from Victoria and a farmer who breeds Paul Herefords from Western Australia. Please welcome Ross Jones and Audrey Jackson. They're hornless. They are. Yes. They're hornless. Paul Herefords. Hello, Audrey. Hello, Tony. Oh, it's, it's, it's civil war. Civil war on our hands. WA versus WA. McClendon. 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 Near. It's between Collie and Boyette Brook. That's right, yes, out in the country. Wheat, wheat country. No, no, no. Wool, it's a very noted wool growing area. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific, you can see. Oh, I'm, I've been over here for a while now. Yes, I? I know. I've lost all my uh, connections there. And, but, but you, of course, talking sheep, you have Hereford... Paul Hereford, Tony. Paul Hereford. Mm. And, and Paul meaning hornless. No horns, yes. They cut the horns off. Yes. No, they yeah. don't. They don't grow any. They don't grow any? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they don't grow any. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm back to zero, just like... <laughs> I'm know. a barber here, knows all about the cattle. <laughs> I'm a city boy at heart, Audrey. Good luck in the game. Thank you, Tony. And with the cattle and everything. You talk to Ross, I'm too embarrassed. How are you, Ross? Yeah. Ross Very is well, from thanks. Victoria and he's interested in squash. Are you good? No. No. I'm interested. Oh. Good partner for you, man. We can have a great game then, Ross. <laughs> Any time, as long yeah. as you're not too fast. All right. Well, good luck to both of you. You've got something to beat, but... And I'll uh, see you all in the gift shop. Can be done. Bye-bye, Farmer see Barber. Bye-bye. <laughs> $20 each is up and we are ready to play. Good luck, everyone. In the folk tale, what animal did Little Red Riding Hood meet? Marilyn. The wolf. On the way to Grandma's, yes. In France, what kind of everyday food is a flute? Marilyn. Bread. It is. It's a long roll of bread. In the film, Down and Out in Beverly Hills, the wife is played by Bette... Marilyn. Midler. Bette Midler is correct, yes. Which character in the Old Testament do we associate with a whale? Audrey. Jonah. Jonah, the whale, correct. Which word rhymes with darn and means a building for storing hay? Marilyn. Barn. And grain, a barn. A successful gardener is said to have... Marilyn. Green fingers. Gr thumb. Green fingers is right. Or well, some people say a green thumb. Actually, I thought more people say a green thumb, but fun fingers, fine. $45, Marilyn, your usual spot there. $20 ahead of the rest. And 45 to spend on this. Uh, Marilyn, if you'd like to improve your photography, just take this camera and uh, see what develops. This simple to create camera automatically measures light conditions, sets correct shutter speeds and then winds on the film. It comes with a zoom lens and a flash unit. Normally $660 tonight, only $6 from Canon and sale of the century. Jeez, I know someone who'd like this. Hey. Yes. Don't we? Yes, hey? we do. I reckon Homie would like this. You should have got one of these for his birthday. Yeah. Oh, this is... I mean, even just looking through here with any no film in, it looks terrific, Marilyn. Do you have a nice camera? Oh, no, Tony, unless you can sort of say A for automatic. <coughs> That's exactly what it says here, actually. A for automatic. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. And, uh, and yours for only $5 with $200 for film. <laughs> Thrown in. She's always at $45 at the beginning. I know. Picture. Very good beginning. Yes. <laughs> She's big off the mark. Okay. Name an Australian state named after a British monarch. Marilyn. Victoria. Victoria's one. Queensland's another. What, starting with W, is a stinging insect? Audrey. The wasp. The wasp, yes. What part of the asparagus plant? Marilyn. The stalk. Is eaten fresh or canned? Yes. What three-letter name is given to an amateur radio operator? Audrey. Ham. Ham is right, and Audrey's going in hard tonight. For a pick of the board, a chance at $10, what is my name? I am a film in the form of a suspense fantasy based upon a gripping book by Ira Levin, made in 1978. I starred Laurence Olivia, Gregory Peck, James Mason, and Lily Palmer. My plot concerns a renegade Nazi in hiding who has a sinister plot to reconquer the world. My foreword, Marilyn. The boys from Brazil? That's the one, the boys from Brazil. <laughs> Marilyn gets the pick. These are the ones that are very important. Great answer on the board for you to pick from, the famous faces. Kirk Douglas. We've given him a good run this week mm. on Tough Guys. Mago Stora. Uh, who does uh, Kids Sunday on Channel 9 Adelaide. Max Walker. The Victorian end of the wide world of sports. Sarah Henderson. Channel 9 News Brisbane. 
and Kate White. Who's a marketing consultant from Gladesville, New South Wales, viewer of the night. Kate, welcome to the show. Len Lenore Smith. Lenore's in The Flying Doctors. Ian Leslie. 60 Minutes. Deidre Hall. Days of Our Lives. And Mark Hammond. Helen Barber's favourite television program, Saint Elsewhere. Who would you like? Max Walker, please, Tony. Sure. Maxie. Congratulations, Marilyn. You've won a set of ladies' golf clubs consisting of nine irons and three woods, a golf bag, and one dozen golf balls. Valued at $807 pro seven from Golf Connection. Keep swinging, champ. There you go. My mum will love that. Yeah, you've, you've done well again. 50 leads, but Audrey's not far away. It's going to be a Ross. Your turn's coming soon. And actually, my wife likes this program better than St. Elsewhere. We'll be back right after the break. Two questions coming up. Audrey, the farmer's wife from... Macalinden. Mm, Macalinden, Ma that's it, Macalinden. How many acres you got, Audrey? 6,000. 6,000, that's a big holding. Uh, how are things? Uh, well, wool's good. Wool's good? At the moment. All right. Mm. What about the uh, Paul Hereford? Oh, well, they're just bad on so, the So-so. Yeah, they're not bad. All right. Which New York City thoroughfare was once called the Great White Way? Audrey. Um... Sorry, it's gone. Broadway. Mm. A million lights, they flicker there. A million hearts beat quicker there. No skies of grey on the great white way. That's the Broadway melody. Since 1972, the Melbourne Cup has been raced over what distance, Marilyn? Uh, it's three kilometres. In metres, it's 3,200 metres. 3,200 oh, yeah. metres. So yeah. it's a bit more than three kilometres. Mm. Which Italian-born star portrayed a bullfighter in the 1922 film Blood and Sand? It was a Rudolf a Valentino. He'd done that. Rudolf. For which currency does the abbreviation DM literally, Audrey? Deutschmarks. Deutschmarks is correct. 35, only 10 the difference. Champs under pressure, but leading by 10. Marilyn, you're $10 ahead. We've got a lovely prime. I mean, it's a, such a personal thing for you, too. Just for you alone, Elise. Yes, no matter what the occasion or outfit, you'll always have the perfect finishing touch with a selection of exclusive leather goods. All pieces are crafted from high-quality leather and fittings and included are a range of stylish bags as well as belts. Normally $1,400 worth tonight, only $9, $9 not $900, from Colour Fashion Accessories and Sale Century. Mm, you like that jive, don't you? <laughs> There's, uh, Marilyn, guess what? Someone just told me there's $500 in one of the bags as well, cash. And you can have it for seven. But it's up to you. I think I'll pass, Tony. Just pass it. It's only $10 the difference. The big the challenge is on from Macalinden. You're and feeling it's it. No sale. The challenge. She's feeling the challenge. Filmmakers of which country made the film Seven Samurai? Marilyn. Japan. From Japan, as the name suggests. Yes. Since 1977, in the world of cricket, for what three words have the initials WSC? Marilyn. World Series Cricket. That's World Series Cricket is correct. 55, now you're getting into the swing of it. Which high position in the Soviet government is held by Mr. Shevardenadze? Ross. Foreign Minister. That's correct. I'm glad you were able to pick that up, Ross. Yes, Mr. Shevardenadze. Which language is spoken by the majority of the people of Crete? Marilyn. Greek. Greek is right for $60. In one month, how many complete revolutions will the moon? Marilyn. One. Make round the earth. One is right, 65. It looked close for a minute. Marilyn just said, bingo, and put away your glasses. You'll have to get this order in Ross to try and catch up. Who am I? I was born in Egypt in 1918 and died in 1981. Beginning my career in the army, I was commissioned in 1938. Nasser. Ross. NASA. No. Nope. Rising to the rank of Marilyn. Sadat? Sadat is right, yes, Sadat, yeah. Sadat is correct. Anwar Sadat. Marilyn. Kirk Douglas, Big please, leader, too. going for money. <laughs> How's about that? Makes things a little easier all round. Boy, you're going to have to work hard now, Audrey and Ross, but you people at home can now work hard on this. The actor James Stewart was born on this day in 1908. One of his best-known films featured an invisible six-foot rabbit. What was that film called? Do you know what that was called? 
cash box time coming up. The cash box is really getting up there. $13,000 in it, if you're in front at the right time. Did you say the... Ha what a delightful picture that was. Harvey was the name of the movie. Did you see it, Audrey? No. Don't you remember that one? Great picture. The English-born film actor who died in November 1986 at the age of 82 was Carey Marilyn. Grant. Carey Grant is correct for $80. In numerical terms, which country has the largest regular armed force in the world? Audrey. USSR. That is correct for $40, halfway against the challenger, against the champion. The Englishman who became Prime Minister of the Cape Colony in South Africa in 1890 was Cecil Audrey. Rhodes. Rhodes for 45 not out of it by a long chalk. Into which large river does the Murrumbidgee River, Marilyn? The Murray. Flows into the Murray, 85 $40 the dip. And all the prizes on the line. And in the cash box, $13,000! <laughs> Marilyn? No, I couldn't, Tony. Every time you've had a, a, a hypothetical, you've done it. I know. Yes, we Have a hypothetical. A hypothetical? Yeah, have a hypothetical. Two. Number two this time for the hypothetical. Wrong. Ah, missed this time, Lucky. see? Lucky, number one. That's one you didn't waste. It was in number one for the home players. All right, 14 grand in the uh, cash box to model night. Sorry. Yes, Audrey? <laughs> That's all right. What was the name of the world's first atomic-powered submarine? Marilyn. Nautilus. Nautilus is correct for $90. In 1946, John Morkley and John Eckert invented the first fully electronic, electronic what? Marilyn. Computer? Computer is right, yes. 95, great scoring. On which sea has Syria its only coastline, Marilyn? The Mediterranean. That's right again. A hundred up, ton up in round three. Good scoring. What is my name? I am an Asian city with a population of about 750,000. I spread along the banks of a river which bears my name. Ancient coins found in my vicinity indicate my existence from the 5th to the 3rd century AD. Various tribes in my region and other parts of Asia controlled me until the 18th century. In 1979, a military invasion disrupted me. I've been an important commercial centre exporting fresh and dried fruit and nuts, sheep, skins, carpets, drugs, farm tools and wine. Situated in the Hindu Kush mountains, I am the largest city and capital of... Maryland. Afghanistan? Afghanistan is wrong. My name begins with K. I am Ross. Kabul. Kabul is correct, yes. What you got, Marilyn, what you got was part of the question, but yes. you didn't get the answer. Ross. I have the home viewer. Good luck with the home viewer. You've got $25. You needed $25 and you got it. I hope it helps you, but you've got to do a lot of work on top of that. Where was the other little The wild card was with Mark Harmon. The other money was with Kirk Douglas and Deirdre Hall. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. $100 leads the game by 50, but still a long way to go. All of the 60 seconds. We'll be back after the break with Fast Money. <laughs> Round four, Marilyn. Only good things can happen to you from now on because you're already leading by $50, so if you've just maintained that lead, you'll win all the prizes. Should you get to $177 in this Fast Money, then you'll get the cash as well. $100,000 cash sitting up there. So it's a big... You've taken giant steps tonight. 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck, everyone. Let's do our best. Your time starts now. What's starting with R is a walkie-talkie? Audrey. Radio. Correct. A roadrunner is what kind of creature? Marilyn. It's a bird. Correct. By what name do we best know the Nazi secret police? Marilyn. The SS. Gestapo. What household animal sleeps in a kennel? Marilyn. A dog. Correct. Where on his body did a knight wear a helmet? Audrey. On his head. Yes. In which book is Ecclesiastes? Marilyn. The Bible. Yes. In which century were bicycles first manufactured? Marilyn. 19th. Correct. What beginning with S is the modern name for Iberia? Marilyn. Syria. Spain. In which of the arts was Edouard Manet famous? Audrey. Painting. Correct. What's the capital of Cyprus? Marilyn. Nicosia. Correct. Which American playwright wrote The Glass Menagerie? Marilyn. Tennessee Williams. Correct. In 1869, which great international canal was opened? Marilyn. Panama. Suez. What does a German mean by Auf Wiedersehen? Marilyn. Goodbye. Correct. Mana from heaven is described. Audrey. Sorry. Proceed. In the Bible. In which city were the Bow Street Runners once very active? Marilyn. London. Correct. What nationality was the author Thomas Mann? Audrey. English. Yes, but it's... Uh, German. Marilyn's won. $125. There goes the, the boat.
and there goes the trip to New Caledonia, and there goes the pearls, and there goes the piano, and there goes the cars, and you've done great, Marilyn. Well done. Great effort. Ross and Audrey, uh, there goes Ross and Audrey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Over to you, Spence. Well, what can I say? There goes Ross and Audrey. Thank you for playing. Unfortunately, you both didn't collect anything tonight, but I'm sure Pete's got some nice things for it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And over to you, Peter. Audrey and Ross both received the electronic sale of the century game from Crown and Andrews, plus our diamond set stick pin from Bruce and Walsh Jewelers and sale of the century. Hey, you've got some lovely plates. Great. What are you shaking for? I'm still shaking. With excitement. Yeah. You've won everything, and we're going to show you everything right now. Let's go shopping this way. All yours. Everything we've got here is yours, except the cash, of course. Except the cash. So let's take it from the top. This is going in your boat shed. Marilyn, take the helm of a true winner. This quarter-scale replica of Australia 2 was designed by Ben Lexon and offers all the thrills of competitive or leisurely sailing. It's easy to handle and virtually unsinkable. Valued at $6,600, the Ben Lexon Quarter 12. Very nice. All right. Now this is going in your lounge room. Marilyn bound to take pride of place, this luxurious leather suite was crafted in Australia as one of a limited edition and features a classic design by award-winning Gerald Easton. Valued at $10,500, Plaza by Module International. Such beautiful furniture is all yours. This is where you're going to recuperate. Sun-filled days and fun-filled nights are here. Two people with $5,000 spending money will enjoy two sun-drenched weeks in Numea with car hire, meals, day trips, great accommodation and first-class flights included. Valued at $14,760 from New Caledonia Government Tourist Office, UTA and Sale of the Century. And I wish I was going with you. What a lovely holiday. Here's a little something for you personally. Marilyn, a treasure to put a sparkle in the eye. This elegant necklace has 35 South Sea pearls sculptured by nature and featuring a magnificent deep luster and 18 karat gold clasp. Valued at $21,000 from Klippner's Jewelers and Sale of the Century. They are beautiful. And we've had some lovely jewelry, but I think that's exquisite. Something for the music room as well. Yes, Marilyn, you could continue over 100 years of musical tradition with this grand piano. It was created from superb mahogany timbers and it comes from a German company who have been handcrafting pianos since 1885. It's valued at $25,195 from Allen's Music and Sale of the Century. I love that music. Now, that's a great... That's from, um, Dear Hunter. Theme from the lovely Barbara, thank you. You own that piano, if you want to play on that is and these are the cars presenting a motoring accommodation that meets the demands of today both these stylish vehicles feature computer management of fuel and ignition giving immediate starter response full acceleration from cold and a dynamic yet economical performance that will please the pocket the VL Berlina wagon and sedan are on the road at $43,300 they're from Holden Australia's driving future Glenn, which one's for him? Give him a little... You have that one. Yeah, you've done all the hard work. Yes, there's the key ring for that one, all right? You've won the cars and you've won all the prizes. And if you like, you can go and leave. But on the other hand, if you just come back one more time and win just a few ingy mingy dollars, what, 52, 52 ingy mingies, you've got this. Tonight's sale of the Century Cash Jackpot, totaling $104,000. So that's a pretty big decision for you to have to take and I'm not going to influence you in any way. There's some strange things have happened. I mean, people have got this far. You know that. Yes. You've been watching the show? Yes, all the time. Ten seconds to think about all those things. Can I have a risk? Oh, good, good, good going all the way. How exciting. I, I love it when they got everything. I love it when they go all the way. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow night, everyone. Big game for all the marbles. We'll see you then. Scoop the pool, winning all the prizes. And tonight returns to play for cash and prizes, totaling $231,355.
Tonight on Australia's biggest bargain sale, we're offering a Berliner wagon and a Berliner sedan valued at $43,300 for $515. All the prizes plus a cash jackpot of $106,000 for $700. Two of the incredible bargains on sale of the century. And here's the star of the show, Tony Barber. Tell him about and the delightful Elise Platt. That it's is the most beautiful dress. Lovely. And it's local. Is it? Well, it's Australian. It's waist. Superb. And well I like your hair that way, too. And I think your mum does as well. My mum loves my hair with a curler in it. <laughs> Hello, well, Marilyn. Cool. Hi, Tony. You're the one that we're really interested in tonight. You're I'm... the one who, with $52, will take everything out the back, including the hard-earned Channel 9 cash. Someone told me you'd never actually ever been out of Perth before this. No, I haven't. Have, have you ever been out of Willerton? Yes, the <laughs> <laughs> that, and never, No travelling, nothing like never that? Never flown before, Tony. That was a yeah. real experience. Yeah. Fantastic. You must have done a lot of reading in your life, I think. Yes, yes, to I do read a lot. Get the knowledge, yeah. Mm. Hey, good luck, Marilyn. $52. Bowl over these couple of people that... Um, oh, all, with all respect, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just... Well, let's see who they are anyway. Well, Helen. first off, we have a beach-loving student from New South Wales and a physiotherapist who enjoys swimming from Victoria. Please welcome Graham Hill and Robin Wiseman. Robin is the physiotherapist. From Mornington. Oh, Mornington. We know Lovely that, part of the world, oh, Robin. Beautiful. Lovely and peninsula. So if my hip's playing up you know and I'm down come. the farm, I can come and... That's right. ...have my hip rubbed. That's right. Lovely, because it brings me great relief. I'm sure it does. Yes, last year. Robin, good luck in the game. Thank you, Tony. And all, all of Mornington is behind you. <laughs> Graham Hill, also no famous as? Racing car driver. <laughs> That's it, Graham. Good. Uh, where do you st study, Graham? Sydney University, Tony. As a? PhD. You're just Sydney. going for a PhD? Yeah. Uh huh. How old are you, Graham? 30. 30? Yeah. Is that, is that, why are you only, why are you 30? Why am I well, 30? I, mean, I, I was born in 1956. <laughs> Oh, sorry. But isn't that a little late to be doing... Well, as a teacher before this, I've gone uh, back to you. You're catching up. You're right. I yeah. understand. All the best, Graham. You've come Thanks, on a Tony. very important night. I mean, you could be a key figure in all of this. $20 each with which to begin. Good luck, everybody. See you later, Good Gorgeous. Luck. That is stunning. Bye -bye. Absolutely sensational, that. All the best, everyone. Here we go. A nervous night. With which profession are bailiffs and barristers, Marilyn? The law. Connected with the law. Right. What word, starting with T, is a term for roofing materials, Marilyn? Tile. Such as straw and rushes and thatch. The French city of Nîmes gave its name to what coarse cotton fabric used to make blue jeans? Marilyn. Denim. Denim is right. Someone with a personal interest is said to have an axe, Marilyn. To grind. To grind. You see, they all know these, but Marilyn's got this experience and the speed. What kind of living things are magnolia? Marilyn. They're a plant. They're a plant or a tree or a shrub or a flower. What starting with A is another name for a slaughterhouse? Marilyn. Abattoir. Abattoirs, $40. Great start again. The champion well on the way. Only $12 short of all that $240,000 worth. You're 20 ahead of both opposition, Marilyn. Now's the time to dip in and get yourself an aeroplane for the kids. Marilyn, you can reach for the sky while keeping your feet firmly on the ground with this model aircraft. This replica World War I British fighter is the most detailed model ever produced in the world and it consists of 1,000 pieces. It's normally $671, including assembly cost, but tonight you could be flying high for just $6 from Hus Hasegawa, Hasegawa, or something like that, from CF Barnes and Sale of the Century. You might correct me on there, Tony. What's what is that, it? Hasegawa? Is that right? Yeah, I can't even see the guy that's holding the card. Never mind reading it. <laughs> but that's a lovely, that's a warplane. I like you looking and, uh, like that. Yes. You look so nice. And, and me and Ronald, we're going to save the free world together. <laughs> Here he is. Marilyn, I think you should have this prize. <laughs> what do you reckon? No, thanks, Tony. Oh, because, Ronald. well, you see, there's $220,000. I mean, you'd look nice sitting at home with your with your toy aeroplane, wondering what happened to the $220,000. <laughs> OK, we'll let it go. Right. Back to the questions. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. Daft. 
Which war was featured in the novel Gone with the Wind? Marilyn. The American Civil War. That is the one. Which word for a narrow strip of flexible material for fastening or holding things together, Graham? Zipper. Is an anagram of parts. It's the strap, not the zipper. The American singer, famous for his version of Old Man River, Marilyn. Paul Robeson. Paul Robeson, she's got them all and working hot tonight, 50. Which creatures are divided into the categories perching and Marilyn? Birds. Non-perching, birds. Boy, oh boy, what a brilliant round one. Who am I? Pick of the board, Robin and Graham. Try and stop the rod if you can. I was born in Germany, 1904, the daughter of an army officer. First pursuing a career as a concert violinist, I then studied acting under Max Reinhardt. Eventually... Robin. Marlene Dietrich. Good for you, Robin. Nice to hear from you. Marlene Dietrich is right. That might be just what you need to get you going. On our fame game, some very big names tonight. Look at these. Mark Harmon. Mark is in St. Elsewhere. Stevie Nicks. Uh, back with Fleetwood Mac for a new album called Big Love. Bert Lancaster. Uh, he's the other half. We've had uh, Kirk all week. He's in Tough Guys too. Deidre Hall. From the great afternoon serial Days of Our Lives. Vicky Williams. Vicky has three grandchildren and one great granddaughter, and she comes from Elizabeth Field in South Australia. Let's hear it for Vicky. Margot Stora. Margot is uh, on Adelaide, uh, Kids Sunday program. Max Walker. Wide World of Sports, Maxie. Lenore Smith. The Flying Doctors. And Ian Leslie. 60 Minutes. Actually, Max Walker doesn't look like that either. He's lost about three stone lately. He's really fit now, isn't he? Robin. I'll have the home viewer, please. Home viewer? Congratulations, Robin. You've won a video cassette recorder and television for hours of home viewing entertainment valued at $1,498 from AWA Thorne. Right. There it is. Marilyn Benthine chasing everything, going all the way with Marilyn tonight. We're going to take a short break, get some quick publicity shots of Max Walker, and then we'll be back. Thank you. Two. Round two with Marilyn hotter than a buccaneer's pistol and running away with the game. What relation is songwriter Carol Bayer Sager to Graham? Wife. Bird Baccarat? The wife. Oh, yes. In financial matters, what do we call interest calculated on both the principal and accumulated interest? Graham. I was going to say accumulated, Tony. <laughs> no, we call it compound interest. The combination of the two. In which US state is the University of... Chicago, Maryland. Illinois. Chicago, Illinois for $60. What of four letters is a circular band worn on the finger? Graham. Ring. Ring is correct. Gift shop time. Now, I know this is a big night for you, Maryland, but you, you are so far ahead, it really, you know, it's all right. Doesn't matter. $40 to spare and a lovely prize. Something for your husband. Or you. Marilyn, in days of old, they really knew how to... Bring out the best in timber, and here's a good example of this sturdy pedestal chair and desk. They were skillfully handcrafted from timber retrieved from the homes of yesteryear and polished by traditional methods to ensure generations of use. Normally $1,305 tonight, only $9 from Baltic Pine Furniture and Sale of the Century. Now, well, it's just as big as yours, actually. This is a beautiful desk, Marilyn. And in the second top drawer of that desk is the princely sum of $2,000. Oh. And you have a lead of 40. So when we say $9, I mean, we what's mean that? It. I mean, that's, you'd be really, yeah, well, there you go. That's all it takes, okay. In 1975, who became the first woman to head a British political party? Graham. Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher is right, up to 25, $26 the difference. The Australian country singer, Herbert Dawson, was nicknamed... Smokey. Smokey Dawson, well done, Marilyn. Starting with M, what is the material substance that constitutes the observable universe? Marilyn. Matter. Matter. But it doesn't, really, because you've still got a good lead. The chain of islands separating the Caribbean from the Atlantic are the West... Robin. Indies. The West Indies and Robin's having a crack down the end. Which best-selling author had his first big success with The Carpetbaggers? Marilyn. Harold Robbins. Harold Robbins is right. $56 leads the match. And a chance for Robin and Graham with the fame game. What is my name? I am a boat. My length, 
ranges from about 5 metres to about 60 metres. Most of them are propelled by gas turbine or, or diesel engines, or both. Compared to other vessels, when travelling at high speeds, I use less engine power. My commercial kinds carry hundreds. Graham. Uh, hydrofoil? Hydrofoil is the one. Hydrofoil is right, Graham. Look at this. Graham gets the 15, and uh, he would be right back in the firing line. Money up there, Graham. Uh, like? I'll have Max Walker, thanks. Good luck with Maxie. It's a nice prize. You've won a package of heaters, including a column radiator, a portable heater, and a heated towel rail. Valued at $569 from Dimplex. Yes. I don't know what I mean. You needed the money, but that's all right. The heaters will do fine. Both challenges gaining ground in that round. And we're going away for a little while. While we're away, ponder this. 1927 on this day, Charles Lindbergh became the first man to fly solo across the Atlantic. What was the name of his plane? We'll be back to tell you. Before we go with round three questions, the answer to the question was the Spirit of St. Louis. Name of the plane, Spirit of St. Louis, Charles Lindbergh. It's Malcolm Fraser's birthday today. Happy birthday, Mel. All right. Robin, 25. Graham, 25. Marilyn, 56. This is a, an all-the-way game. What colourful two-word term is used to describe the inefficiency of any large bureaucracy? Marilyn? Red tape. Public or private red tape, correct. What kind of fish are dogfish? Graham? Uh, swordfish. A small variety shark. Small variety of shark. Which British capital city has a borough called Ealing? Robin? London. London's right. Robin getting into second spot on $30. In which organ of the body does a gastric ulcer occur? Marilyn? In the stomach. In the stomach for 66. <laughs> oh, what a golden opportunity for you, Marilyn. Your $66, your $36 ahead. Now, this would be a little cream to put on the apples and pears because in the cash box tonight we've got $14,000. 14 dollars <laughs> one. So you spend the 36, you get the 14,000, add it on to everything else, you're obviously going to win tonight. Huh? No, thanks, Tony. Not going to have a dash? No. I bet you pick it. I bet you, because you're in the lucky mode, you'll pick it. Go on, have a pretend pick. Three. Number three. Right. Yes, that's no. it. Wrong. No, no, we'll see. No, no. How Number lucky two. you did. Why don't you don't keep your hand on it? Number two for home viewers. All right, let's get back to business here. This is the important stuff. Starting with A, what is the most abundant metal in the Earth's Maryland? Aluminium. Crust, aluminium. Yes, aluminium. The Swedish tennis player, who is the 19... Bjorn Borg. 87 Australian Open champion is Stefan Edberg. For the production of which essential foodstuff were millstones once, Marilyn? Flour. Used. Flour is correct, Robin. Too late, I'm sorry. Looking pretty safe there, Marilyn. A pick of the board coming up. Robin and Graham's opportunity. Who am I? I was born in Russia in 1840 and died in 1893. After training for the law, at the age of 21, I began to study music at the St. Petersburg Conservatoire. In 1865, I became professor of harmony. Graham. Tchaikovsky. That's correct. Tchaikovsky's correct. Is Peter Williams. <laughs> Tchaikovsky. Hope you get a nice prize, Graham, because I don't think that money will do you a lot of good at this I stage. I don't think so either, Tony. Who Ian Leslie. Like? Ian Leslie. Congratulations, Graham. You've won one year's subscription to magazines such as the Women's Weekly, The Bulletin, and many other titles, valued at $214 from Australian Consolidated Press. Oh, <laughs> that's what we call the in-house prize. Lovely uh, magazines, you know, you'll be able to read and... Read and read. Yeah, and read and read. The money was where? The wild card was with Margot Storer, the other money was with Mark Harmon and Bert Lancaster, and Lenore Smith had the $25. All right, here we go, folks. There's one round to go, and Marilyn uh, is marching onwards to what seems to be a, uh, a logical and very happy conclusion here. We'll be back after the break to see how it all goes. The last little bit, 60 seconds remaining in the game. Marilyn, you are 60 seconds away from being 220 odd thousand dollars better off than you were before this minute began. 60 seconds on the clock, good luck. Graham and Robin, nil desperandum, give it all you've got, make a work for it. Your time, everyone, starts 
Now, to which animal family does the lynx belong? Marilyn. The cat. Correct. Manila is the capital of which... Right. Yes. Correct. Which Scottish poet was known as the Ayrshire? Marilyn. Robbie Byrne. Correct. In which country is the resort city of Wiesbaden? Marilyn. Switzerland. West Germany. Whirlwind is the latest novel by James... Yes. Graham. Michener. Clavel. In what country are the badlands of Dakota? Marilyn. The USA. Yeah. What kind of creature is a whippoorwill? Marilyn. It's a bird. It's a bird. Into which gulf does the Rio Grande empty? Robin. The Gulf of Mexico. Correct. From World War II, name one of the Axis powers. Maryland. Germany. Yes. In which country was paper invented? Maryland. China. Yes. On which sea has Turkey its southern coast of Maryland? Black Sea. Mediterranean. What kind of animal is a mandrill? Maryland. It's a monkey. Yes. What's Belgium's capital city? Maryland. Brussels. Correct. Which is the largest of the US New England states? Graham. Don't know. It's Maine. In which European country is the city of Mines? Maryland. I'm sorry, I don't know. It's West Germany. The first president of Cyprus was Archbishop who? Macarius. Correct. And there's the bell. It's finished over. Maryland has won the match. Congratulations. Most deserving winner. Great. Sorry. Popular win, as you can tell, everyone. That's Marilyn Benthine from Willowton, a school teacher. She just did it so well all the way, and you might have thought, well, gee, uh, you know, that was so easy, but it wasn't all that easy, was it? No, Tony, it wasn't. Oh, you did it well. Terrific work. Robin and Graham, thank you both for being here on this evening, and um, I'm sorry it had to be this evening. <laughs> Elise. Robin, you're taking home some nice prizes to the total of $1,498. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elise. And Graham, you've got something too to the total of $738. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Well played. Marilyn, um, we'll be with you in a second. For both of uh, Graham and Robin, some presents from Peter. Thank you, Tony. Robin and Graham both received the push button sale of the century game from Crown and Andrews, plus our diamond set stick pin from Bruce and Walsh Jewelers and sale of the century. You've done it. Yes. <laughs> Great I effort. It. I it's all over. Relax, new Caledonian holiday, everything. We'll tell you all about it, you right? I'm right. Let's go in a big way. Capital S for shopping. Here we go. That's terrific. Never in doubt. I thought, do you know that? I get goose... When someone comes on, even the first night, and they do something, I just get a feeling, and I had that feeling right from the word go with you. Look what you've won. All of this starts here. Marilyn, it's all smooth sailing from now on. This quarter-scale replica of Australia 2 was designed by Ben Lexon and offers all the thrills of competitive or leisurely sailing. It's easy to handle and virtually unsinkable. Valued at $6,600, the Ben Lexon Quarter 12. All right, lots of fun with that and lots of comfort with this. Marilyn, take a seat and be delighted. This luxurious leather suite was crafted in Australia as one of a limited edition and features a classic design by award-winning Gerald Easton. Valued at $10,500, Plaza by Module International. There's the furniture. That's all yours. You'll be able to sit down and relax in a minute. Uh, you'll certainly be able to relax on this holiday. Marilyn, picture the south of France in the South Pacific. Two people with $5,000 spending money will enjoy two sun-drenched weeks in Numea with car hire, meals, day trips, great accommodation and first-class flights included. Valued at $14,760 from New Caledonia Government Tourist Office, UTA and Sale of the Century. This is somebody else, but when you get there, then it will be you, all right? And you'll be wearing your poils for all the world to see. Shining like the sparkling sea, the superb necklace has 35 South Sea pearls sculptured by nature, featuring a magnificent deep luster and 18 karat gold clasp. Valued at $21,000 from Kleppner's Jewelers and Sale of the Century. Don't go jogging in them. No, I won't. Whatever you do. Don't, <laughs> don't run around the streets or anything in them or else. Got some music for you too, look. Marilyn, you could now retire and pursue a musical career with this grand piano. It was crafted from superb mahogany timbers and it comes from a German company who have been handcrafting pianos since 1885. Valued at $25,195 from Allen's Music Sales and Sale of the Century. And listen, in honour of... Uh, come around here, darling. Oh, no, Stand we over there. In honour of you, we're do going we to do, do a it? big song and dance for Marilyn. Bell note. Uh, if I had Aladdin's lamp for only a day, I'd make a wish and here's what I'd say. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. If 
Thank you very much, Sally. Oh, come on! Hey! Who's <laughs> for managing this? Congratulations. That's for you. Now, the day they deliver the piano, we'll come and do it for you live oh, in your house. All right, you've won the cars as well. Presenting a motoring combination that meets the demands of today. Both these outstanding vehicles feature a remarkable advance in performance, economy and smoothness from a revolutionary new engine that has been rigorously tested to fulfill all expectations of reliability. The VL Berlina Wagon and Sedan are on the road at $43,300 from Holden, Australia's driving future. And an elegant addition to these superb vehicles, solid gold key ring set with 30 diamonds valued at $4,000 from Bruce and Walsh Jewelers. I don't know why they don't give us two key rings, but there's only one, and it's yours, and the cars are yours, and all of those prizes are yours, and I think that's about it. Oh, no, this, this is yours too. Tonight's sale of the century, cash jackpot totaling $106,000. See, for getting the $106,000. Look, um, it's all yours. Very well played. Uh, the grand total of all the little bits and pieces you picked up along the way, you've become one of our all-time great winners with $248,515 worth. Well done. We've done the three months. In comes the confetti. Oh, how many times have we done this? Not too many times. Well I'll tell you what I would like to do. I'd like to say that next time we have one of our special events and you'll have a chance, I hope you'll come back and tackle the likes of Kerry Young and those sort of people because I think she's right up to the I class, I do, eh? yes, absolutely. All right? Love to Willerton, love to the family. And we'll be back tomorrow night with three new players challenging. Keep smiling and bye for now. Bye-bye. Good night, Pooch. best as we proudly present the 1988 World Championship. Tonight on the world's richest quiz, we present Heat 3 to find Australia's representative for the World Championship on Sale of the Century. And now here's the star of the show, Tony Papa. Yep. Hello. Thank you, Pete. Good evening all. This is the World Championship. It's the Australian week. We're up to heat number three. We've got two reps in the finals already, the semis. Kerry Young, Virginia Noel, and tonight, three more challenges to play. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, please, and welcome the lady to introduce those challenges, Miss Elise Platt. Black and white. Hi, hi, you Very chic. I was walking a little strange then because I've got really high heels on. I'm not usually that much taller than me. No, you're not. not that much taller than me. You look very chic. They're pretty high. Just okay. show people how much taller I am than you without them. Look at that, folks. <laughs> I like it like that. No, leave them off, leave them off. Toes. He's on his tippy toes. I'm not. <laughs> Who's playing the game? Right. Our first contestant tonight is a chemical engineer who missed out on a place in the finals of last year's World Championship when Kerry Young picked $10 from the fame game. That close it was. That close. From Victoria, please welcome back David Bock. Hi, David. David. Our second contestant is a school teacher who had a big win in May last year when she won the lot, including a $106,000 cash jackpot. From Western Australia, welcome back, Marilyn Benthien. Good to see you, Marilyn. Okay. And our final contestant tonight was the winner of our interstate championship last night. I mean, last, last year. <laughs> tonight he has the opportunity for revenge against David Fox, who defeated him when he was playing for the lot in July 1984. Originally from New South Wales and now from Queensland, please welcome back Dean Cupid. Dean Cupid, the champion. Then. <laughs> Most of landing. Because that's where the house was that you won, Dean. That's right, Tony. Remember that beautiful, um, uh, who made it? A.V. Jennings. A.V. Jennings. That's right, we said <laughs> yeah. it every night for three months. But A.V. Jennings, is it, a, is it a lovely home? It's magnificent, Nice Tony. neighbourhood? Sure is. Great. And it, your hair's grown again? <laughs> Has it? Yes. But there's Tell more. me the truth. There's a story, but I'll, I won't go into it. You won't? No. All right. Well, I hope it stays there. Looks Thank nice. You. It Thanks looks very, very nice. nice. <laughs> and, and listen, you're very close. Don't forget, opening at Seagulls, March 29, week before Easter. 
Come and see it. I will. The Tony Barber Show. Look forward to seeing you. I will. In fact, I've got two tickets for you. That'd be great. No, you can afford to pay. What am I saying? <laughs> That's my mouth. Good luck, Dean. Thanks, Tony. How are you, Marilyn? Nervous, Tony. Nervous? Why? Just because you're stepping up a little in company here. It's the World Championship, but that's nothing to worry about. No, nothing, nothing. All the best to the West, Marilyn. Thanks, Tony. Nice to see you. David, always Thanks. good to see you. Thank you. We've been doing this year after year, and... Yeah. David it's... always comes up trumps. It was very stiff, wasn't it, last Was it just when Kerry got the $10 on the, on the fame game? Yes, well, I, I think probably I did as much for my own defeat uh, as yeah. I've ever done, so... <laughs> that's not taking anything away from Kerry. He's always very, very difficult to beat. And so are you, mm. top player. Should be a great game tonight. Twenty dollars each with which to begin. Have a See great you later, game, Blackie. Bye bye. Lovely. All right, let's do it, lady and gentlemen. In the familiar saying, to take from one person in order to pay it, Marilyn. Rob Peter to pay Paul. Is to Rob Peter to pay Paul. Good start for the West. In the USA, what is the one-word term for the last car on a train, David? The uh, freight car. No, it's the caboose. Last car on the train, caboose. Time Magazine's Man of the Year for 1987 is Mikhail David. Gorbachev. Gorbachev got the money back. What useful appliance, starting with S, may be defined as two knife blades joined together, David? Scissors. To form a cutting device. And it's 25 all in front. The Lualaba River is the headstream of which great African river which, Dean? The Nile. Empties into the Atlantic Ocean, the Congo or the Zaire River. What kind of insect is a purple emperor, Dean? It's a butterfly. Butterfly gets you the money back. A good even. Tense beginning, like they've all been, because we're playing for big stakes, remember? Straight away. And uh, it's you and uh, David, Marilyn. Marilyn and David, double sale. First in with the buzzer, when Elise says the low price gets the goods. Well, guys, here's the opportunity to really clean up in the World Championship. The lightweight vacuum features electronically variable suction and full attachments, while the power motor floats on a layer of air and requires almost no maintenance. Normally $519 tonight, Marilyn or David can have it for just $6 from Volta Vacuum, Flymo Mower and Sale of the Century. What a nice, tidy little package there. And, uh... Clean up completely. Would the, uh, oh, no, we better not put it in the lawn no. and cut it up. <laughs> but we could put it down there and then the vacuum cleaner would suck, suck it, up, it right up. And it's $500 cash and it's all yours for $2. Anyone? First in with the buzzer. We'll buy. How many cash? 500. 500. There, you count it. Going, going at $2 once, twice, and three times. No sale. The world heavyweight boxing champion from 1950, Dean. Rocky Marciano. Two to 1956. Good early pickup, Dean, in there. 25 all. Which word means both a fish with a broad, flat body, Dean? Uh, flathead. And a line or beam of light, ray. A little bit too early that time. What is the three-letter term for a female rabbit, David? A doe. Keyword pressure. Wins again. $30. In what country of the British Isles is Inverness, Dean? Scotland. Scotland came down this end, 25. It's all happening around you, Marilyn, but you're still nice and cosy on second spot there. For a pick of the board, who, or rather what, what is my name? We are a body of men and women, usually organised and appointed by governments, although privately formed bodies of us do exist. In Australia, each of the six states and two mainland, mainland territories, as well as the Commonwealth, have one. In many ancient societies, Marilyn. The police force? Yes, we are the police. Well done, Marilyn. We are the police force. That gives you first pick of the board, Marilyn, and you've got these situations and places and everything to pick from. The wattle tree. Displaying the national colours of Australia, green and gold. National Gallery. Situated in Canberra, housing some of Australia's greatest art. Kakadu National Park. First Australian area to be inscribed in the National Heritage List. Tasmanian Devil. Fierce marsupial of the Australian island of Tassie. Elizabeth Fribbins. From Salisbury in South Australia. She loves watching Sale of the Century every night. <laughs> Old Clarendon Winery. One of the famous smaller wineries of the Southern Vales. The Kookaburra. Australia's laughing bird. <laughs> the nut and town of Stanley, Tasmania. The nut, of course, being the remnants of a volcano, that nut. And Kings Canyon, Northern Territory. It's called the Garden of Eden due to its lush vegetation. Marilyn, who would you like? I'll have the Kookaburra, please, Tony. Lots of luck. Congratulations, Marilyn. You won a heavy-duty electronic typewriter that doubles as a computer printer. Valued at $550 from Stott and Underwood. Right. No money changes hands. Good prize, though. There it is. 
Battles on. Only one of these people going through to those semi-finals. Um, we'll find out who it is as the night progresses. Back in one moment. To do some more. I must point out, this is very much by way of a revenge match. If we go back to 1984, yeah, three, must be four years ago now. Dean, on the very night that he was going for the cars and all the prizes and the cash and the lot, was knocked off in a very exciting game by... David Bock. Do you remember that, Dean? No, I've forgotten all about it. All oh, right. <laughs> well, you've had a little victory. So what about you, David? Well, look, I regretted that all the time, Tony, but it was a bit like those old westerns, you know? It was him or me. <laughs> Let's go. Dean, 25. Marilyn, 25. David, 30. Which famous person was born on the island of Corsica? David. Napoleon. 1769, right? Complete this song title by Francis Scott Key. Dean. The Star Spangled Banner. That is right. For $30, $5, the difference well picked up. In geometry, what starting with T touches a curve or surface? Marilyn. Tangent. At one point only and does not intersect. Good match. Five dollars the difference. What article of military equipment was invented in the 19th century by General Sir Samuel J. Brown? David. A gun. Incorrect. Sam Brown belt. Officer's field belt. Not a gun, it's 30 all. What great battle does the Bayou Tapas... David. Battle of Hastings. Battle of Hastings, 35 now leads the match. Give me a whiskey, ginger ale on the side, and don't be stingy, baby. Has passed into movie history because, David. Um, Greta Garbo, is it? That's right. First line spoken on screen by three seconds. Greta Garbo, thank you for recognising the impression. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're 10 ahead, David. You lead by 10, $40 to spend. You're just going to love climbing into this, Elise. Well, here we are in the third heat, David, but I can guarantee you won't feel the cold in these sheepskin coats. Crafted from the finest Australian materials, these matching his and her coats are the perfect answer for the coldest winter. Normally $1,100 tonight, $9 from Ausfurs and Sailors and Children. I know he won't. I'm never in a fit, you would you, David? Still say them. Of course, we have to say them. Yeah. So that they'll Otherwise, give them to I won't us. be here, and you want to have me here. Of course, we do. Course. You've got to <laughs> keep us in work, David. Buy them for a dollar each, $2 for the pair. <laughs> Bring you back to 38. What's my lead, Tony? Your lead is $10, so you can afford to, to do that, can't you? That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Are you with me? Are you with me? David, what do you reckon? Oh, it's a terrific temptation. I, um, I'm going to resist it, though. How did I know? How did I know you'd resist the temptation? Which of our five senses is denoted by the scientific term... Dean. Oh, hearing. Olfaction is the word. Smell is the sense. Olfaction. In Spain, what natural feature is the Sierra Mar Mar Marilyn? A mountain range. It's a mountain range. You can go to 35, is only $5 of the difference in front. Which chemical element has the letter symbol TL, Dean? Uh, tellurium. No, thallium, not terulium. Or what you said, tellurium, thallium. What electronic instrument derives its name from the words radio detection, Dean? Uh, Radar. And ranging is right. Nice and steady, you've got one back. Still not a lot in it. Whom did Henry VIII marry immediately after David? And Boleyn. This is a bit hard when, you know, there were so many, weren't there? Busy old devil. Um, Jane Seymour was the one, particular one we were after, after Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour. All right, this is obviously going to be very important, this spare money tonight. See if you can get it. Who am I? It is believed I was born in the Netherlands in 1603. Dean. Uh, William James. Incorrect. David. Abel Tasman. Yes, died 1659. Well played, David. David's got the pick. There's a 10 and a 15, and you're under a bit of pressure, David. Maybe you need that money. Well, I'll, uh, I'll go to the Kakadu nice... National Park. Yes. It's a nice prize. You won a quality Byron tennis racket, the perfect partner for any tennis enthusiast, valued at $173 from Stella. Well done. How's your back end? Yeah. It'll be better now. A short break. One for you at home with no pressure from the players here. Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin was born on this day in 1934. In the highly competitive world of space travel, what special distinction does he hold? And we'll be back to tell you in just a moment. Three. Yuri Gagarin was the first man in space. That was the special thing about Yuri Gagarin. Um, I'll tell you what's in the Bicentenary Diary later in the game. 
Let's press on for now. Dean 25, Marilyn 35, David 35, not much in it. Which European capital was founded on the Ile de la Cite, Marilyn? Paris. More than 2,000 years ago, new leader, Marilyn takes over. In Britain, what of four letters is the oldest grade of Dean? Oh, no idea. Whoa. Peer. Oldest grade of peer is an earl. For his work in holography, the Nobel Prize in what category was won? David. Physics. Yes, by Dennis Gabor in 1971, 40 all or deuce in front. In which European language do people wish each other Happy New Year, Dean? Um, Jewish. With the words Buon Capodanno. Ye uh, yeah, it's Italian, by the way. <coughs> 40 all. All right, Dean, uh, you've slipped back. David and Marilyn, I'm going to auction the opportunity to uh, get $3,000 in the cash box. You're, um, you're both qualified, you see. And so I'll sell the right. All you have to do is press the buzzer when I say the magic number. Get your hands ready, David. <laughs> That's the buzzer I'll press. <laughs> it's only a dollar to pick. A dollar to pick, dollar to pick. One dollar once, one dollar twice, one dollar sold to Marilyn. Yay! <laughs> Takes the score back to 39. $3,000. Which number, Marilyn? Good luck. Uh, three. All the best. Number three has got... Oh. Oh, oh bad luck. What a sh and they've been picking it when it didn't count. It was count. in number one, Marilyn. You wouldn't read about it. You know the only good thing about all that? Only cost you a dollar. That's the best part. Let's hope it doesn't cost you the game. Who was the European president the USA barred from entry? David. Waldheim. In 1987, Kurt Waldheim is correct. By what one-word name is the Corinthian Raisin bet David? Date. No. Corinthian Raisin is also known as a current. Back to 40. One dollar the difference. Income derived from internal sources by government is called... David. Inland revenue. No. Oh, yes. Well, it's called internal what? And we wanted internal revenue, you said inland revenue. Revenue's the key word, and obviously, yes, I'm getting the thumbs up, that's okay. Last pick of the board. Dean, good one for you. Really need a, need, really need a lift here. Who am I? I was born in Italy in 1496 and died in 1527. The son of a lawyer, I was an official in Florence in charge of foreign affairs for 14 years. During that time, I engaged in diplomacy and organized the army but was imprisoned by the Medicis when they came to power. David. I'm not sure about the dates, but I'll go for Machiavelli. Uh, you'll be absolutely right, actually. David started slow, but he's getting that old spot on. Getting that old feeling back, David. There's lots of money up there. And your chance to get it. I'll go for the home baby, thanks. The little home baby right in the middle. Oh, nice prize, David. You've won two lounge chairs and side table, plus a handy mobile trolley, valued at $1,249 from Ramla Furniture. All right. If you're playing at home, let's show you where it was. On the board now, let's the spread it round. wild card was with King's Canyon. The other money was with the Wattle Tree in the National Gallery. And the old Clarendon Winery had the $25. All right, score-wise, uh, David leads Marilyn by $6. Dean, you're 15, but I have to tell you, you're only like four, five or six questions. That's all it is in Fast Money, and it's wide open, this game. Don't worry about that. Don't you worry about that. 60 seconds to go. We'll be right back with you. Um, touch from the diary before we go. Uh, from our Bicentennial Diary, interesting dates right through the whole 200 years. On this day, 9th of March, 1836, temperance campaigner... John Tall orders 600 gallons of rum emptied into Sydney Cove. That's the day they wrote the song, We shall gather at the harbour. The be all right, Dean, it's all uh, serious now. $15, 30 behind, Marilyn 39, 6 behind. David, you're the front runner. One place in the Australian semi-finals commencing tomorrow night. One place available, and it's 60 seconds that you've got to... Um, to clinch it. Good luck, everyone. Your time starts now. How many Y's are contained in the word Marilyn? Two. Fairies, none. In which continent is the Republic of Gabon? David. Africa. Correct. In whose mythology was Vertumnus? Dean. Ah, uh, Roman. Correct. Which arm is used in a military hand? David. Right. Salute, right. What kind of creature is a Lamagaya? Dean. It's a bird. Yes. Of which European country is the Tsar? David. West Germany. Yes, colloquially, what unit of currency was a fiddly? David. 
Uh, Thrillpins. No pound, quid. The site for which national capital was chosen in 1790, Maryland. Uh, Canberra. Washington. A salamander usually has David. A curved body. Four legs. To what religion do most people in... David. Islam. Q weight belong right. In what sport is a Malibu board? David. Surfboard. Correct. Right. In what country was the writer Gore Vidal? David. Uh, United States. Correct. What kind of living thing is an Australian bangalay? Dean. It's a flower. It's a tree, plant, eucalyptus. Of what religion would he... There's the bell, David. <laughs> We've got a rematch, folks. Another big one. David Box, 65. Well, the fast money told the story. Actually, early days, it was very close, but uh, he got away from you, Marilyn and Dean, and that's the way it was. And um, so congratulations, David. Thank you. Commiserations down this end. Elise, it's over to you. It's lovely to see you all again, though. Thanks for playing, Dean. You got prizes to the total of $500. Thank you. All the best in Queensland. Thank you very much. Marilyn's see, see going back to the West with $1,150 worth of prizes. Nice to see you again, too, Marilyn. Bye-bye. Thank you both. Pete's got a couple of uh, goodies for you, too. Thank you, Tony. For Dean and Marilyn, we have a beautiful black leather desk set, including a day runner, pen box, desk pad, and scissor letter opener. Embossed with the winner's name, it's valued at $500 from Debden and Sale of the Century. Well done, David. Thank you. It's the big three again. Yes, looks like it. That's um, three or four years in a row now. It seems to finish up that way all the time. Yeah, well done. Let's go shopping. Early days, a little quite early there. That's all the fast stuff came in. Well played. For your efforts this evening, we have something, as always, straight away for you. David, the ideal prize for an Australian heat winner, especially crafted for the World Championship, these ladies' and men's matching bracelets feature the Australian Blue Gum Collection design in stunning nine-carat gold with three inset diamonds. Valued at $3,000 from Wendy Manzo Diamonds at the Hilton and the sale of the century. Now, actually, you can't have the gum leaves. You can only, you can only have the, the bracelets. They'll have to do. They'll, they'll do. They're yours. And um, if you get through the semis, become Australia's representative and knock off the big one, then you'll get this as well. Presenting an Australian luxury car of truly international standard, the Calais Turbo offers accelerating performance from the computer-controlled PowerTech engine and features an interior of unparalleled luxury with cruise control, factory air conditioning and deluxe stereo system. The Calais Turbo is on the road at $32,287 from Holden, Australia's driving future. And as a fitting accessory to this superb vehicle, a diamond and white gold key ring valued at $2,000 from Bruce and Walsh. Go, David. Beautiful car, lovely. Calais Turbo, mm. Holden, what nice people. Lovely key ring from Bruce and Walsh, likewise. Very fine people. And to make up the package, as it were, mm. the whole thing, to make it, uh, mm, yes. Here it is. The 1988 Sale of the Century World Champion will win a total prize package of $100,000. So, um, that would be to add to uh, your, uh, I think it's, must be nearly $400,000 worth you've won. That was before October. Before October, yeah. So how's life generally? Good? Oh, pretty good. Uh-huh. Got to go. Tomorrow night. Thank you. Over two nights. Like, what a way to finish the week. Thursday and Friday night. A two-night match-up for the Australian title and a chance to go into the World Championship. Virginia Noel versus Kerry Young and Mr. David Box. See you tomorrow night. Keep smiling and bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, you've got that one out of the way. Don't even keep on. This is a Grundy television production for the nine.